That's right, ladies and gentlemen, you're listening to the hot sounds of being on break at the strip club. Let's make sure my let's make sure my sound is good for the other people that might be with me, which I don't think it is. And now oh, it is. Test, test, test. Yeah, yeah, now it is. So what's up, everybody? Um, yeah. Welcome to Sunday Show. Welcome to the All Things Fantasy Grounds talk show, as it said there in the upper left of the spreadsheet. Um, we want to remind you that this show is meant to teach and help the folks that watch it, but the opinion stated by thus, thus, <laughs> thus, so thus is all of is those of us combined thus by thus <laughs> are not that of smite works uh or fantasy grounds or the forge or dm's guild so uh so yeah so just uh you know if we fuck up don't blame anybody but us uh welcome everybody welcome winack welcome uh hiller in the chat that have said hello uh i want to welcome my co-host mr drake takes how are you drake I'm doing pretty good, and uh, if we do screw up, Rob, uh, it's your fault. It's not mine. I don't oh, have it's just my fault. It. Okay. It's, yeah. It's no. Yeah, that's cool. No, that, that that's cool. That's cool. Um, hashtag blame Drake. Uh, what's up, Fozzie Bear? Uh, what's up, Bane? So uh, here's the thing. Robin is not feeling well today. She usually joins us pretty regularly every other week, and today was her day to be here. But she just. Uh, said that she's not feeling well, so she's playing Baldur's Gate 3 in, in bed with her husband's Steam Deck. That is exactly what she told us. Fury, we don't know about. Fury is sort of hit and miss. She's not here now, so I don't know what the fuck. Maybe she's in the chat. Maybe she's not. No, she's not in the chat. Uh, what's up, Nafam? So, today, Drake, I don't think we have any new products. Uh, let's take a look. Since we did it last time, let's just take a look. Uh, where is the Rob Tui? Oh my god, my cat. My cat is fucking just meow, meow. Love me, pet me, snuggle me, pay attention to me. Shut up, cat. <laughs> and I don't know if you guys can hear it, but she's way across the house just fucking meowing. Um. Oh, I put a little something out on Amazon.com, but it's just a little experiment. Um. Fall from Heavens. Did we go over that, Drake? Uh... I believe we did. Uh, yes, the that, that was, yes, that was yeah. a Celestials. Yeah, 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 yeah. So if you guys yeah, want to see what I put comment on... about Zerial. Zerial. If you guys want to see what I put on... Good uh, acoustics. What I put on Amazon, I just put... <laughs> good acoustics. Oh, yeah, now the cat came in here. Uh, I put this uh, fantasy notebook. It, it's basically just a, a blank notebook with a cool cover. That's it. That's all it is. And uh, I got a hardback version... And I put a softback version. And I put it under anonymous so that people wouldn't fucking be like, who the fuck is Rob Tui? Nobody gives a shit. So uh, I just wanted yeah, to see... Yeah, but you have a song that's made after... That is true. I do have, I do have that. Um, where... And here, let me get the... Uh, let me get the uh, softback uh, copy link for the softback in there. Same, same thing. No difference. Just... So this is just something that's piled up on your to be sold pile. Yeah, yeah. So I'm and I'm just you know put an experiment to see like will anybody buy it? That's kind of my you know it's and it's not you know. Can you put all that other crap you got on eBay on there too? I mean, is it Amazon? Well, if you so here's the thing: you can't you can't double list something because then what if two people buy it? Then you're like, oh shit! And there's penalties for like 
putting something for auction and then going, oh, I lost it or I can't find it. They, they, they ding you for that. So uh, you don't want to do that. All right. So we don't actually have anything new to go over, but... Um, When's the last time you sold something on eBay? Um, Two days ago. Oh, nice. Yeah, here's here's what... It, so I have 160... Well, let's take a look. We, this is like, welcome to Rob Tui's personal life t- television show. Um, I have for auction right now 150... Five active auctions. And the thing I sold was a uh, a McDonald's Happy Meal Marvels thing. Because now, so, so this is my thing. I go to McDonald's. I get the Happy Meal for $4.99. I sell the toy. I sell the toy for 9 or 10 bucks and make about 5 bucks because you got to pay shipping and everything. And so I basically get the Happy Meal for free. That's my... <laughs> but what's disappointing is... I'll list one of these things and it'll sell right away. So I'm selling the thing that I just put on there, not the shit that's been up there for two years, you know, cause I got, I got all these auctions. Uh, it's a lot. It's a, it's a lot. It's basically just me unhoarding, you know, getting rid of all my collectibles, Star Trek two wrath of Khan, original movie script, uh, you know, American pie, original script, um, Saturday night live book, a bunch of books. um, I did sell, uh, I did sell the, uh, what the hell was this? The, uh, Tenaris Adventures that I got, um, from Kickstarter that I never opened. I was able to sell it for 700 bucks. Oh no, I think I sold it for 675 and you know, it cost me whatever, 500 plus shipping where I made a little bit, but what a pain in the ass. You got to, you know, sell it. No, oh my God, what a, just a pain. And it, so, you know, I'm not really getting rich off that. I'm just getting my money back. Um, oh, Playboy. You should have bought it to begin with. And you went I know. Okay. Well, so here, so this is what I'm telling everybody. So, you know, like I'm, I always tell, I joke that I'm broke now. I mean, I can, you know, I can, I can pay my heat and my food, but in 2020 and 2021, I made some pretty good money doing what I do. And now I make jack shit. Like I'm literally going to make less than $10,000 for the whole year. Like it's not a, it's, you know, that's a, not even a part-time, um, you know, minimum wage job, but I did have some money. So, you know, I bought a house and bought a car and kind of set myself up. So now all I really have to do is pay my monthly bills. But when I was making all that money, I went ape shit on Kickstarter. I, I I've done like 85 Kickstarters and there's at least half a dozen of them that are sitting here unopened. Like I took them out of the box and looked at them, but they're still got the cellophane on them. You know, And I, so I got to try to sell them because I'll never play them. But I, I thought, you know, two, two years ago, three years ago when I ordered them, I was like, oh yeah, this is going to be great. And then, you know, the shit changes. All right. Uh, so, uh, we got a request that you got to show that your equipment bundles actually work. Oh, the equipment bundles. Yeah. We had a little snafu. (laughs) Okay. Let's do that. Let's load up the campaign. Yeah. We had a little snafu during the game. That always happens when you're live and watch it blow up in my face now, but uh, well, so we at were... least we'll know uh, that there is a glitch or something, but I always thought it was working. So so I think what it is is I was trying to do it as a player, yeah. and it doesn't work as a player because players cannot manipulate uh, parcels. Parcels. You have to be you have to be making your character as a DM. So you have to open your fantasy game table, make your character as a DM, and then if you're a player in a game, but you have to ex- export it and send it. The to way you. the way you did it as a player worked pretty damn well too. Yeah, it did. It, it, that was actually a, that was a pleasant I mean, surprise because. So what happened, you guys, is if you were watching the game on Friday, we were making characters, and the equipment bundle wasn't working for me, but that's because I was signed on as a player. But I sort of accidentally discovered you can open. You can't. Okay, here. Let me just let me slow down here. Let me open a character. Let's do a brand new character. Um, let's see, we got Ronnie, so we'll call this guy Bobby. Ronnie, Bobby. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right there, buddy, right there. So, um, <laughs> and then now let me open the equipment bundle. First of all, you have to spell it right. I don't know if you guys know, if you know that, but you, you do have to spell it right. Equip. Okay, there we go. Let's open that. Okay. So, um, when you go over to your equipment inventory page, right? You're making a new character. Let's go to parcels. 
Uh, where, where, where is parcels? Uh, I don't know how it's it under, works, P, this. For it's right under P for parcels. It's under P for coins. Parcels. Okay. The coins. All right. So, you know, as a player, you can't, you can't use these uh, because only a DM can mess with parcels, right? So what happened though is that as a player, what you can do is you can open one up and drag the items individually over. So let's just see. I can drag that over, and there's closed. Now let me just delete that. Um, but so so you you can see how it would be really fast. Okay, so Drake, name a background. Um, faction agent. Okay, so I'm a faction agent. So I just take this uh, shield for faction agent, drag it over. There's all the equipment and the money for the faction agent. And then name a name a class. Um, you're gonna be a defiler. No, <laughs> you don't have that. <laughs> Do you want me to use defiler? <laughs> artificer. Yeah, defiler. Yeah. Okay, defiler. Uh, because defiler, defiler and dragon lord are, are unique classes that I made. Yeah. Uh, okay, so I'll drag that over. Boom. So you see how now all my equipment is there. Everything's there. I'm ready. I did that in. So it is literally less than two seconds. If you here, I'll show you how fast it is. Uh, let me get it. Let me do another character. So let's say you're building your character. Uh, this is going to be, uh, Ronnie, Bobby, Ricky and Mike. <laughs> this is going to be Ricky, of course. <laughs> uh, I spelled it wrong. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Okay. So you're building That's your character and let's just say you're a Zentarum agent who is going to be an artificer and you want to build your equipment list. Uh, start Start the timer, 1,001, 1,000. Oh, I'm done. I didn't even get to two. So there, everything's there. All your equipment's there, and your money's so the, there. So the only minor little thing is sometimes there's a selection in your equipment or your race selection that you get, and it's just picking one of them. So if you want the other selection, you can just swap them out. You know, like a long sword or a broad sword or whatever. Right, right. You know? Exactly. Um, so I think I put Wait, that. Oh, what's yeah. For, for ease sake, the equipment assumes all A choices, you know, because you get A or B. For other item choices, these are listed below. These, of course, can be changed. So it's a it's a simple way to do it right away. But like, let's say, oh, yeah, I'm not going to use the I'm not going to use the mace. Fuck that mace. I want an axe. You can just erase the ma axe and or erase the mace and put an axe. But the point is, you can get all your shit in there, ready to go. Like I think, I think I, uh, I, I think that I tested it with. If you use all of the stuff I've made over the years to make a character, you can make a full character with all with every page, even the notes and everything. You can make a full character in less than four minutes. A few moments later. A few yeah. moments later. Um, okay, well, yeah, what I is Leroy saying? Uh, he there says, are modules uh, that you give selected equipment for each fire class and background to make the character creation quicker. Yes, thank you for that. That is exactly what it is. I think that you have to load the module and share it to the player and activate it in the modules area. It has always worked unless you forget to load it. Rob, open a second instance for a player. Uh, well, yeah, okay, let's see. Let's see if he's right about that. Let's go to player. Uh, load campaign. No, join game. And we want local host right here like that. Boom, start. So let's do that. Let's share the module. Let's share it. Uh, first of all, let's, uh, let's, let's, here's what we're going to do. <laughs> we're going to open the Open the open the pod bay doors, Hal. Oh no, that's yeah, that two thousand one. Would... Uh, we're gonna close this because I don't like to have things open that I'm not using when I'm doing the show. All right, now can I share this? Uh, how do you share? Uh, you have to oh, yeah. go. Have to go here to this. To, yeah. yeah, and you have to go. Green. Make it. It is share. It is green. Yeah, player allowed yeah. load. Okay, so let's go over to the player ones. Still, still loading. And, and you might have it defaulted that way too. Yeah, I probably do. Right. Open the SRD too. I wonder why he wants that open. Okay, let's uh, uh let me be Ronnie. He doesn't have does he have equipment? 
Oh, maybe you need no, the okay. player's handbook or the since you're grabbing equipment from it. Or no, because the no, package. because all of those things are contained within the module, so you don't need that. Uh, okay, so let's open the module. Let's go open it. Uh, activation. We're gonna close all those. Here, I'll even prove it. I'll close the player's handbook. Uh. Close it. Okay, now let's open the background. Need the items. And equipment. Need the items? I think the items are in. I think they're in there, you guys. We're gonna find out. That wouldn't be the would. That wouldn't be the reason it doesn't work, though. You know that that's not the reason it wouldn't work. All right, is it opening? What's going on? Hey, background generator by TAC. Uh, hello. Is it is it loading? Did I load it? Oh shit. Okay, it is loaded. Okay. Oh yeah. See, I don't like that. I don't want that open. Okay. All right. So here, moment of truth. Uh, parcels. Uh, drag it over. Let's do athlete. Oh, it does work. I couldn't get it to work. Okay, so my bad. You can do it as a player. I guess Havoc just didn't have the module shared with me. I, I don't know. But And by the way, uh, naysayers that said I needed the or, equipment. Or you as a player didn't have it loaded me. Well, you No, because that, that's how I brought... That's how I was able to bring these up. You, you, you can't see that unless you... Warlock. Well, yeah, it uh, totally works. What the hell? I don't know. Havoc, Havoc's table was jacked. Okay, good. I'm glad... I'm glad it does work. So I take back what I said. You can do it as a player. Well, but... now the question is, is turn that theme on and see if that theme is hanging it up. Oh. That's the only other thing. Oh, that is a good. Okay, let's uh, let's let's do that. All right, so let's close Ronnie. Let's what go back theme over did he have? to the gray. The gray one. The uh, he said dark it was the dark theme. theme. It's the one that Robin likes. Uh, uh, theme. Is it dar modern, is dark? It something he was is, part of it. I think it's dark. Is it dark? Okay, let's try that. Yeah, Layroon might be right. The GM had to share it. So he might have had his... Well, no, because if he didn't share it, I would not have been able to open it as a player like I was able to open it. So and drag the individuals over. That's yeah. why I think it might be a, a it might be thing? a problem with the theme because dragging that link over wasn't letting you like that one like that. Okay, this is it. This is yeah, totally it. it. Yeah. All right. So now let's go connect again. Uh, join campaign, local host. Let's connect. Yeah. Um. That is weird. Uh. I I don't. I'm not an expert on how themes work, but I don't know what inside of a theme would block something like that from happening. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. You used to teach that in character creation that the GM has to share the module, but it was shared. If the, if, if, if he didn't share it, I wouldn't have been able to access it. Right. Oh, Oh, well, I get Unless I was that. accessing my own off my own hard drive. I don't know how that works. You guys, I don't know how Fantasy Grounds work. There's a show on Sunday you guys can you guys can check into. That's what Mark always says. So if you ask us a question, we'll find out. Yeah, if you ask me a question, I can, I'll can. I'll, I'll figure it out. But if, you, but if you expect me to know just right away, that's not who I am. I might have used to be that guy. Okay, so let me create a new character. On the player's side, right? I creating a new character. Uh, can I move it? Can I can I move the sheet? What the fuck's going on here? Oh, it's just hung up. Okay, let me. How come? Yeah, see, it's not even showing me the labels on these. Yeah, boo. Okay. I can't even move this guy. What the hell? How do you move this? I can't even move this character. Oh, I hate, I hate this theme. I fucking hate this theme. All right, let's go try it. Inventory. Let's go to parcels. Let's go to... Oh, I can't move that either. I can't move these windows. What in the fuck's going on with this theme? All right. Oh, and I can't even... Oh, see? 
Wait, what? Oh, I just opened the parcel. Okay, so if I try to drag the parcel over and drop it, all it does is open it. So it does not work. It is the theme. It, 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 the, what the hell's the deal with this? I can't even move these windows. What the fuck is going on here? What? Yeah. I don't like it. Is it laggy? I don't know. So let me try over here. Let me let me see about characters on the DM side. If I open this guy's character, can I move the window? Yeah, I can. On the player side, can I move the window? Yes, I can now. All right. Oh, see, it did work. It's not the theme. It's just laggy. Yeah. So uh, maybe Leroon is what okay. Leroon is saying is. Okay. So okay. Unload here, okay. the module. Yeah. As exactly. The right. Exactly. Exactly. You're exactly. So here's here's what Leroon is talking about, you guys. I'm gonna unload the module, right? I'm gonna make the on the DM side. I'm gonna have no modules loaded. Okay. And then. Uh, it tries to play. And as a matter of fact, I'm gonna kick. Uh, I'm going to kick Rob Tui on this side, and then I'm going to join again, right? Join. Just in case. Just in case. Kind of clean out the... <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, You know what, Leroon? That should be one of our Sunday night shows as a character creation 101. Totally. We should totally do that and use all the Rob Tui well, stuff. and. I don't know how to make a character. I'm a DM. I, I, I still, by the way, I like... still, I still maintain, I, maybe it's better now or I'm sure it's better, but I don't know if it's perfect, but I still am a big proponent of not using the character creator inside fantasy drums. That thing, the always, wizard, you know, the wizard, the wizard. always jacks Actually, up the, stuff. I think the wizard's on its way out too. I oh, is it? Because they find they couldn't the fix wizard. it ever. Okay. Let's create a character brand new, uh, and can I move it? No, but it's it's laggy, like you said. All right. Um, no modules open on the DM side. So, what modules do I have open here? I ha I have the equipment modules. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna unload that, and then I'm gonna go back over here, and I'm gonna even say activation. Uh, modules activation. Oh, here, here we go. Equipment, equip, man, equip. Oh, god, I cannot spell the word equipment, you guys. Equip. Oh, but you have to have okay. So, I'm gonna say actually player not player loaded blocked. Okay, right on the DM side, player load blocked. Okay, but if I go over here to activation and I go to equip, oh. It doesn't even show up. So if he unblocks it, it should show up. There it is. Yeah. So you, so I could not have even loaded this. It wouldn't even have been possible for me to load this unless he had it available to load. So that is, uh, so I obviously own it. I made it. It's on my hard drive. But as a player, if the DM disallows the load, you can't load it. So and I would, I would see the parcels. Uh, well, no, because they're not loaded. Parcels are going to be empty. Yeah, they're just going to be empty, right? Uh -huh. But if I go allow the load, and then I load it, then the parcels are there. So... So why didn't it work? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Why didn't it work? First of all, let, before we do anything else, let's get out of this theme. I fucking hate that. It looks cool, but it's just is not as functional as I would like it to be. Um, we won't use any theme. So, uh, oh, here, I got to get out of it here. <laughs> I don't, I don't even know how to use fantasy grounds, you guys. All right. So just back to this, uh, load campaign start. All right. So it's wonky, especially custom content, the CW. Oh, oh, the, 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 the theme you mean? Dogor says if a GM removes permissions after someone has already loaded the module, does it go away? Oh man, that is an excellent question. That, and I think the answer now is yes. That, I mean, yeah, it, it opened it, it's when possible, you did it, but we you know didn't what? Say it closed, I, I think know. we're going to verify this. I think it's possible that Havoc opened the library to see if he had that, and then he checked that green box and disallowed my. Okay, let's let's find out about that. 
All right. So let me open another instance of Fantasy Grounds. This will be the player instance where I will join the campaign local host. Okay. Now we're going to go back over to here. We're going to open modules. Maybe we're going to open modules. Oh, yeah. Somebody's connecting, so it's all frozen. Okay. Activation. EQU. I think that's all we need. Uh, okay. We're get, it's allowed. Okay, so now we're going to go back to the player side, right? And when it loads, we'll we'll load the module as Thelgor is proposing. Then we'll remove permissions and see what happens. Oh, so Gorbidal is saying that is what's going to happen. So is so is Lebrun. So we'll show everybody. And that that's that's what my assumption was too. Yeah, me too, but. So that must not have been what Havoc still did. A, it, it, I'm still, it's still a well, complete we'll mystery. Right yeah, it's a total mystery why it didn't work for us on Friday. Okay, so I have background and equipment bundles open. There's the parcels. And if I go over here and I remove permissions, go back to the player. Oh, <laughs> fuck you, player. You're All done. Good. Now, yep. Now, if I go back over and put it, is it still loaded? No, you have to reload it. So it just completely removes it out. Yeah, so you guys are right. Uh, if Fantasy Grounds it is data blocked, the data permissions will not readily update. Yeah, that's that's getting into the weeds. Uh, I still don't have an explanation for Friday's game and why I was not able to use the use the bundles. But as I said, what I could do, I could access well, the bundles. Oh, God. I EQ. I'm going to just use EQ from now on because I don't know how to spell equipment. I couldn't drag them over, but I could totally access them. And then I could drag just the items over. So I did it one at a time. If you go watch Friday's game and it was a session zero. So it was right. It's right at the beginning of the show. Friday's game. We, we started playing um, Candlekeep Mysteries and I made my character. What am I in that game? I'm a, I'm a source. I'm a, I don't remember what I am. By the way, Hey, that's a question. How can I find out what character I'm playing in Friday's game by loading that character? Let's do it. Load campaign. Uh, Drake, what's the answer? Join campaign. No, load campaign. How do you do it? Oh. Uh, does anybody know? Wait, what's the question? I'm sorry. The I question is, I I want to see my character from Friday's game that I'm not DMing. How do I see that character? Uh, you want to you want to um, export import a character under the table. Import. All right. Import. Yes. Okay. So let's do that. Start. Um, open the character sheet as DM and then go to import. Yes, Gorbidal. Yes. Boot up any campaign and import. Yes. That is right. You guys are totally right. What's your right. character's name, though? That's the question. That's his the question. name is uh, his name is like uh, Marvin Simple Boot or something like that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's it's, it's, it's like Warren like Simple Keep. It was funny because I was joking. It was the most in forty two years of playing Dungeons and Dragons. That's right, nineteen eighty one. Uh, it's the most role play name I've ever created. And I uh, didn't tell the players or the DM that I was playing with on Friday, but I used a name generator. Thank you. I just pressed one button. All right, let's Characters. go to import. Thank you. Characters, import. And when you do this, Warren, Warner Simple Keep. Okay, so he is a... Sure. Oh, it doesn't even tell you what it is. He do, It doesn't tell you the class. So let's import him. Okay, now we go to characters. And does anybody want to guess what Warner, Warner, what, what am I playing Friday? I am playing a, oh yeah, a cleric. That's cleric. right, a cleric. How would I forget that? He is a grave cleric. Yeah, because, uh, Drake, wasn't it you that suggested I play that? Yeah. Grave, grave cleric. Yeah, Drake Drake was in the chat on Friday and he said, play a grave cleric. So I, so I did. I'm playing a grave cleric, grave domain. Boom. All right, now we got a lot of characters in here. We got to get rid of some of these characters. Get rid of him. Get rid of Warner Simple Keep. Get rid of name. Now we just have Ronnie, Bobby, Ricky. We don't have Mike. 
Is it Mike? Ronnie, Bobby, Ricky, and Mike. Yeah, Ronnie, Bobby, Ricky, and Mike. And for, for all the years, that song is like 1990 or something, uh, new edition. I Forever I've been saying Ronnie, Bobby, Mickey, and Mike, and it's always been Ricky. Uh, I can't break myself. All right. Um, in the and you have it as Mickey, too, by the way. Do I have it as Mickey on the thing? Yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> that is so funny. I have it labeled as I have it labeled as Ronnie, Bobby, Mickey, and Mike. Ronnie, Bobby, Mickey, and Mike. Oh uh, shit, that's so funny. All right, let's go to the chat. Um, Warner Simple Keep. Now, Gore Vidal, did you remember that? How dare you? You remember my character's name, and I couldn't remember it. Uh, in the forums, it happens a lot because some people have Fort Knox on their network. Oh, yeah, the the permissions, the data lock, and everything. Uh, Warner, people are going to misread that as Waymer. Oh, yeah, because of the text or the font. I think if you hold shift on parcel item that has more than one item, like 10 torches, it should drag all the torches into your inventory. That's correct. That is correct. Uh, Fantasy Grounds Academy, an antivirus, a VPN, a non-standard network configuration, a special settings for their computers, and then wonder why Fantasy Grounds doesn't work for them. That's right. Yeah, Gore Vidal does remember. He's yeah, I, I can't. It's so funny. I have so much fun playing D and I really like it. I mean, I've obviously been doing it online for like eight years now or whatever, and I cannot be bothered to remember fucking anything. If you ask me, like the next day, what happened on Saturday's game? So yeah, like last night's game. So last night in particular, I do remember because it was an epic battle that fucking basically reset at the end. Just kept a three hour reset. You guys should watch. That. So here's what happened yesterday. So Drake is the DM for Divine Contention. We're level 12. And it's a spoiler too if you if you're running it or playing Well, I won't it. I won't I won't spoil it, but <laughs> I'm we were, it was suppo- Drake has been saying, "Oh, it's going to be two more sessions and then one more session and oh, this is the last session." So Diablo Bob at the end of the session prior had purchased a long rest for the party. And we were fighting monsters. And of course, that is an instant long rest that resets everybody, including the NPCs. So we start last night's episode. We roll initiative. We get into this battle. We battle It was three... Gorvidal. Oh, it was Gorvidal? I'm sorry. So it was three hours, you know, because we always play three hours. And then we're back down to where maybe we're in a few... You know, maybe, maybe not. It's going to be handled. And then fucking Matakiri buys a long rest at the end of the show. And so it resets everything. I think it was Bob that bought it, actually. Oh, was it? I thought it was Matakiri. Yeah. So as uh, you can see, everybody, I don't know who does what, but I do. It I wasn't paying attention. No, I don't pay It was attention. a long rest, though. It was like right yeah. at the end of the night, too. So now and so I go, so I, I go, Drake, this isn't going to be the last session, is it? And he goes, no, it's not. Well, it was super not fun. when I get, I can just ignore three more saves too right yeah, those reset too in a long rest thank you sir oh my god oh my god his epic saves or his uh well, jesus <laughs> yeah, legendary resistances or whatever oh no i forgot about that <laughs> oh so funny anyways epic everybody death. what are your yeah lol indeed uh lol indeed Lerun. what are your questions everybody you know Lerun has a 100k bit badge what the fuck that is so awesome Lerun has a 100k bit badge, everybody. You guys see that? I'm looking at Chatty, of course. I'm not looking at the stream. I always just use Chatty, but here's Chatty. So Lerun, so Mosk and Foz has a 5k bit, and he also has an 18-month subscriber badge, Mosk and Foz. Um, Lerun has the moderator and 10,000. Gore Vidal has a Prime Gaming and 36-month. Uh, you know, Robin made all these uh, icons that show how many, how long you've subscribed. Um, stream elements is verified. <laughs> FFZ subwoofer. I don't even know what the fuck that means. Um, Bane TCB has prime gaming. Drake takes has bits leader number third ranked as top cheer in the channel. And also a 62 month, five years and two months subscription badge. Drake, you're awesome. Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Bane's like, I want to know spoilers. No, no, no spoilers, no spoilers. Um, just look up Ebenfell. Oh yeah, that's right, Bane. 
Yeah, I can, you're not gaming tonight, Bane? You, the, the players didn't show up or what? Next Friday, Mac from Dungeons Alchemists. That'll be a good show. Over on Fantasy Ground. What is, uh, Did what is... your voice? Oh. What is, no, no, I'm just, I'm reading. I'm, re who, I'm trying to decipher who's... Dungeon Alchemist is that? Oh, that's the map making thing. Yeah, that's when Gorby Doll. Oh, Gorby Doll, you need to be watching Fridays. You know what? I'm gonna set my alarm well, right. They're they're getting ready to bring out uh, the conversion straight to VPA. Oh, eight. nice. Okay, so <clears throat> let me get rid of this. Um, let me go to uh, Fantasy Grounds Friday. I think that's at 9 a.m. Pacific, right? Um, no, no, two, uh, two on Fridays. Oh, so it's at eleven, Eastern. Sorry, yeah, two Eastern on Friday. Two p.m. Eastern U.S. Two p.m. Okay, so. Twitch TV slash Fantasy Grounds. Let's just see if they have it on their calendar correctly. If it's done correctly, schedule. He's like, hey, little oh, bro, how stop, can I help stop, you? Stop, What's stop, up? stop, fuck, stop, fuck. Okay. Uh, Friday at 11 a.m. Yeah, that's that's 2 p.m. Right. Oh, here, here, here we go. Nope. It says Friday at noon, which is uh, 3 p.m. That's Josh. That's Saturday. Oh, that's Saturday. So Friday. Yeah, it was just last week. It's it's not. That's the 11th. So scroll down to next. Oh, it doesn't go that far yet. Oh, here we go. Oh, there okay. it goes. So it says it's at 11 a.m. That's 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 2 p.m. Yeah, that's what you said. All right. Huh. So now I'm going to go to my. Um, now I'm going to go to my phone and well, I can't. You know, iPhone doesn't let you set alarms more than 24 hours out, but I can I can I can manipulate I can game that. Yeah. The. Uh, uh... Dungeon Alchemist is, I think it's fun to use. I mean, especially oh. if you want to make a, a tavern or something. Oh, I, I love fact, Dungeon I, Alchemist. I, I have a big tavern we're going to go to in in Saturday's game when we ever finish Divine Contention. Alexa, remind me Friday at ten fifty five a.m. What's the reminder for? Fantasy Grounds Friday. Okay, I'll remind you Friday at ten fifty five a.m. By the way. Oh my piece. god. You can snooze it by saying, me again <laughs> By the way, I'm going to say some Thank shit you. you don't understand. You're so welcome. <laughs> this really gives me a charge. Ah, did you guys hear it? If you I didn't hear it, I thanked her and Alexa goes, "You're you're so welcome. Your kindness gives me such a charge." <laughs> I've never heard that before. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, so good. So I'm going to watch I usually don't watch Friday's show anymore cuz I watched it religiously when I was like a contractor for them and did their social media because I kind of had to, but then I don't really watch it. And the only reason I watch the show is if I'm on it. Um, but I, but that one I want to see with the, with the, what the guy, I what's the guy's name? I catch it. Bryce. Yeah, but 11 a.m. Oh, oh you, you got to remember 2, 2 p.m. for you, you is Mac from Dungeon Alchemist. Yeah, Mac. It, 2 p.m. for you is way different than 11 a.m. for me, if you know what I'm saying. Like, well, I don't function Mac? at 8 a.m. Mac also streams on uh, on their channel on the Dungeon Alchemist channel on Saturdays at 3 p.m. He streams Dungeon Alchemist stuff. Oh, really? Yeah. And then I know uh, this because Josh streams the the Fantasy Ground stuff at the same time, so they're both usually on at the same time. Got it. Oh, and Monday morning, Gorbido says I did I wasn't aware of that. Hi, Kitty. You want to be on the show? There's no cameras today, Kitty, but if you want to come up here and purr for everybody. Can Spock? You no, it's it's Kirk. What's that pretty girl? Yeah, she's a pretty girl. She's fucking opening cupboards now and pulling shit out. God damn it. Yeah. You know, the, the their cute faces is why Rob Toohey's not a cat murderer. Um... <laughs> Aren't you, honey? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's see if we can get you on camera here for a second. Let's go to... A steam key. Can I go to... Oh, oh, that. Yeah, <laughs> that's a... Lerun made that. Uh, I want to be like Rob Tui, play some D&D. &D. 
Um, uh, we'll just do, uh, well, no, I, I guess I can't put myself on camera just by myself, I guess. I don't know. Well, you would have to turn on your, oh, no, that's the driveway. Ninja? Well, I, I, ninja? I mean, maybe I can, a, uh, that's here, the I'll, only way I have it hooked up right yeah, now. Yeah, here, I'll ninja. do, uh, I'll, I'll just do, uh, I'll just put on the camera thing by itself. What's that called? Uh, what, what's the name of the camera program? Uh, Critfest, I think that may be announcing that on the show, maybe. So, um, Dungeon Outcome is supposedly native export to VP8. That might be why they're coming on the show to show it off, maybe. I hope. That's what I'm hoping. Here we go. I don't know if I can make this bigger. Well, how do you make this bigger? How do you? How do you? How do you just make this whole thing? I, I usually. I usually try not to because it's your image. Yeah. I'm just saying. That. Anyway, you guys can see. Yeah. Just kidding. Aww. <laughs> she's not really too happy about the way I'm holding her. <laughs> well, she's pretty chill about it. Yeah, she. They're chill. They they let me. I mean, their claws aren't out. No, and they have sharp claws. As a matter of fact, I need to trim those a little bit because they don't go in for their hair. Let's rub your belly, honey. They don't go in for their. Uh, they don't go in for their spa treatment until the first week in October. I usually take them every quarter now. And then, it, so every six weeks I try to trim their nails. I might, should have to do it more often than that. Anyway, this is Kirk, everybody. This is a girl, Kirk. Spock's around here somewhere. Where's your brother? Probably getting into shit since I'm not watching. Anyway. And you left your cursor finger my, right on your forehead. My, cur like my a... cursor's pointing to the hair that I don't. It's funny, on camera it looks like I'm really bald. But if you if you're standing next to me, I've got a lot of hair. Actually, I got a lot. I got a whole. That's because you're such a pink skin. You're yeah, and it, it's short, so you can see the skull or the what's that called? Your scalp. That's it's what called... Andorians call humans: pink skins. Pink skins. Oh, you're all quiet now. No purring at this time. You're in a lovely. You're in a lovely. <laughs> You're in a Her lovely ears are lady all folded like, like she's really comfortable. <laughs> she is comfortable. If I and if I let her like stand on me, she'll do it. She'll stand here. If I put my arms and she'll just stand here. She might want to get down, but that's what that these cat yeah, she wants down. That's what they do. They beg me to pick them up and then they and then they go, Okay, I'm done. Like after two seconds they want to go down again. Um, you had to put your dog down this evening. Oh, what? No, oh, four years ago, four hours ago. Oh. oh, crit fest. I'm so sorry. I have a horrible story about that. I mean, obviously it affects you way more if you're a kid than it does as an adult. I mean, I, I shouldn't speak for other people, but yeah, that day is going to come one day, right? Unless I let and these cats might outlive me actually. But when I was a kid, I had this dog, Princess. She was a Cocker Spaniel. I, I very... foresee they eat you when you <laughs> That's die right. alone. That's right. I was talking room. about that with Spencer the other day. They're going to, you know, I, I won't, somebody will be like, I haven't heard from Rob in three weeks. Better send somebody over there. And then the cats will have you, just be a skeleton in my bed. So uh, my I had this uh, Princess, this Cocker Bad Spaniel. Cat. And um, so I'm not going to get, I'm not going to get into my whole life story, but my, my mother married my father when I was seven, when they started dating when I was five. So not my biological father, but my stepfather. And I, I went over to his house the first time I met Princess. She was probably, she was probably, you know, two or she was a young dog. And I, my dad's like, be careful. She doesn't know you. And I said, be careful. You don't know me, dad. No, I didn't say that. I was like six. And so, um, she bit me in the face and I was fucking in love. Like, I don't know Sick why. Balls. Sick balls. So this was my dog, you know, and, and she was my dog until I was like 15. And, and, you know, she got old as dogs do. So one day I came home from school and my mother walked in the front door with a leash and tears in her eyes. And I was like, oh, fuck, you got to be kidding me. So she had decided... She wasn't going to tell anybody. She just was going to go do it. She was going to be the tough guy and go put the dog down because she was getting to that point where it was just sad and, you know, everything. And uh, I thought there was maybe more to that story, but I think that's it. I, I, anyway, my, 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 Paul, my, I'm so sorry, Crit Fest, because I know I'm losing an animal. Yeah. And, uh, 
And so we got other dogs, but ended up having to give them away and things like that because yeah, that's other reasons. that's what I think I I would do is to have the vet come because it's less stressful on the animal to be home. I mean, my dog, when he's not feeling bad, doesn't want to go to the vet. So when he's not feeling, when I'm taking him there, he definitely doesn't want to see those bastards. My parents did a lot of shit without consulting me. Like, here's another sad story. Without consulting me. My Were mother. You 10, you needed to be consulted. And No, no, I was 15. My mother in 1971 purchased a new car. Uh, it was this 71 Plymouth Cricket. Didn't have rust on it. It was new. Um, I don't even 19... remember those cars. Yeah, well, they only made them for three years. And oh, 71, okay. 72, 73, I think. Uh, or 70, 71, 72, whatever. So my mom was a school teacher. She, you know, middle class. And she bought this car when she was, uh, um, you know, I don't know, 32, whatever she was when she was, was a Was it teacher. the third brown one? Or no, it no, it was blue. blue. It was like this one. Oh, okay. So then on my 16th birthday, she gave it to me. So that would have been in 1982. So it was an 11-year-old car. But fuck, I had a car. I was in high school. She gave me the car. And I was beside myself. I couldn't believe it, right? She Because they, they bought like a 79 Malibu or something. So she, we didn't, she didn't need it anymore. So she gives it to me. I come home from school one day, my junior year or senior year. And my, my, my dad was a letter carrier. Uh, let's just be honest, mailman, stewardess, flight mm-hmm. attendant. Oh. Um, my dad, so now remember, this is 1983, 84-ish. I'm not, it's so traumatic, I don't remember the exact date. But I just remember I came home from school, and I had not driven to school that day, and my car was gone. And I asked my dad about it, or asked my mom about it, and he said, your father sold your car to a co-worker. And I was like, What? And my dad sold a working vehicle in 1983 or four to a coworker for 85 fucking dollars. And I did not speak to him for, I can't even tell you how long it was. I didn't speak to him. He, he turned out to be a bad guy though. He died in 1993 and God bless. It was uh, not soon enough. Um, don't worry everybody. He didn't beat me or anything, but he did steal my college money twice. I've told that story many times. Uh, how do you steal somebody's money twice? Uh, it's possible. He did it. All right. So 71 Plymouth Cricket, I drove the shit out of that. Now he did, uh, it, to be fair, he did offer me the use of the 79 Ford Courier. That was a good truck. And no, it was, it looked maybe like this, but it had a brown. My dad had one. Yeah, mad me a brown stripe down the side of it. So I got to drive this. He didn't give it to me, though. It wasn't mine. He just said I could drive it whenever I want to. So I did. And uh, I beat the shit out of that car. <clears throat> Rob was the only, I... Rob was the guy that would drive everyone around and not be able to connect with a woman. Oh, I connected with fr- many women and with my front bumper. No, I'm just kidding. Um, my first car was a 1980 Ford Fiesta. It was bright orange. <laughs> Look it up. Okay, 1980 <laughs> 80 Ford Fiesta. 80 yeah. Ford Fiesta orange. There it is. That's it? Did it have a stripe or no stripe? Uh, it was like the far right one. Like this? That's it. <laughs> That's the exact car. Yeah, I'm, I, I was blow, convinced. I tried to blow it up. I tried to I reverse. You couldn't. You couldn't kill the thing. You couldn't I'm always. Whenever I see a picture of the cricket, I'm always convinced that that's the one. That not a cricket. That was mine. That was the one I had. Seventy four Vega. Oh, everybody's gonna start listing their first car though. Um, the first car I ever purchased with my own money was. I that, I bought that car for four hundred bucks. In 1986, it was only six years old. It had like 42,000 miles on it. Um, I think. Is this this looks too? No, that's that does not. That's not an 88. That's a fucking. That's like brand new. That's like what brand new. That? Give me a 1988 Hyundai. Oh, maybe it's an maybe it's a model 88. Maybe. Oh, here you can buy paint. 1988 Hyundai 
Oh yeah, because I can't remember uh, models. Let's let's look up the model. I can't remember the name of the model. Was Hyundai around in eighty? Oh, ex yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, what do you think? I'm making it up. Yeah, here. This this looks kind of like it was silver. Sort sort of like that. I don't know. Yeah, Hyundai Excel. That's right. It was a Hyundai Excel. So I had the car about eighteen months <clears throat> until it was repossessed. Yeah. It was repossessed, everybody, because I was a fuck up in college. Um, I didn't even graduate college. I was a fuck up. Oh, well, that dings your credit pretty nice. Yeah. Oh, so the 1970 oh, Chevy Savannah, okay. your first car. All right. First of all, wow. let me just change the screen. I'm going to put the slides on for a second. Um, I'm going to put the slides Ooh, on for a second. What would you, what so would you give to have that car back, Leroon? A 1979 Diotson 280ZX? Diotson. What, what is this Diotson you're saying? Uh, a dot soon. All right, let's go there to... There was a joke that went around and... How long did it take to fix that soon? I, so I you, guys, uh, you guys... You uh, guys... I know the slides are still on. That's on purpose. You guys... Uh, you guys all know how credit works, right? Like uh, your credit score and whatever it is. And then I think it's between 300 and 850 or 350 and 850. Uh, if I'm I'm close, if I'm wrong, but 850 is the max. So <clears throat> when I was 24 years old, I declared uh, I declared bankruptcy. Okay, let's put these uh, let's put this back on. Uh, and my credit was at the bottom. I mean bankruptcy. I, I I you know I was 24 years old. I mean my life was fucked up. I was an idiot, and I declared bankruptcy. So 30 years later. Look at my credit score now, bitches. I defy anybody in this chat to have a credit score higher than me. I mean, maybe maybe you do, but 805. I got women knocking on my door. Total debt, 19,000. Mm, that, that's not right. Credit use, 5%. So what does that tell you? If What's what's 5%? 20,000 20, and 5, what is that? $400,000? I don't know. Um. Anyways, guys, here's my credit score. Thank you. Don't try to fucking steal my identity. I got a fucking protection and a million dollars. Go ahead. Try and steal it. Um, there's nobody in our audience who would do that to me. All right. What else? What else? What else? What else? Snaz, we don't need. Uh, show notes. Oh, my God. We have to give away a prize before we forget. Okay, let's do that. What? That's the only reason these people come here. I know. Nobody gives a shit about the information or about my pictures of my driveway. Uh, somebody does, though. Let's see. Did we miss anything? Dots in 1979? Oh, I wanted that two. I wanted that three hundred X, three hundred ZX so bad, Leroon. I wanted it so bad. Oh my God, so bad. I never got it. Uh, senior in eighty eight. I was a senior in eighty nine. I was a senior in eighty four. I am You're a fucking. Old. Yep. You know what? I graduated high school, went to the army. And I was basically in basic training when the fucking Olympics were happening in Los Angeles. Very disappointing. All right. Let's do keyword raffle. Uh, of course, the prize is a DMs Guild or Forge item. And the keyword is going to be <laughs> very disappointing. Now, I don't I don't know, you guys. I, I'm not going to do that to you because I, I don't know how to spell disappointing. Let's just make it very. That's a lot. Just Yeah, just, just very. Start. Very sad. Start. Keyword is saying. very, everybody. I think it's very, isn't it? Oh, no, I fucked up. Hold on. Stop, 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 stop. I fucked up. Okay, stop, reset, start. Okay. Keyword is very, everybody. Exclamation point, very. Gorbidal is in. Lordway is in. Simbarch is in. Okay, it's working. Crit Fest. Crit Fest, I'm so sorry about your pet. Because... Oh, that's so bad. No. Yeah. Save the world. Explanation very, not very explanation. <laughs> oh, pave the world. Yeah, you got that backwards. It's exclamation point very. You still have time. You still have 35 seconds. Yeah, I mean, it's part of life, right, Crit Fest? But you don't want it. It's a fucking fucked up, man. Um, Pave the world. Yes, he got it in. Okay, good. <laughs> Bane. Bane. Bane's going to win the backwards prize. Fantasy Ground's going to win the, all the prizes. Varied varied prizes. Very different. Very all very. the different. 
Barry. Seven, six, five. Oh, somebody climbed to the top of the tower. Yeah, she climbed up to the top. All right, let's What's see a, who the winner is. What's a Orbeez gun? I don't know. Draw. Got shot in the eye last week with an Orbeez gun. Oh, the, the pet did? Oh, my, your dog? Oh, Jesus Christ. We'll look up. Uh, okay, Lord Way, nice. Lord Way has not won a prize since October of 21. Sweet deal. It it pays to uh, to show up. Okay, you know what to do. You know what to do, but if you don't, we got this. What are those little gel pelotons? Oh, they're little gel balls. Do they burst? So Lord Way, 71, uh... 71, is that your birth year? Year 52? I don't know. Choose your prize from the DMs Guild or the Forge. By the way, I'm going to put the links for you and for everybody. So it's DMs like a Guild, boom. Mini Forge. paintball gun that looks boom. like a That's phaser Gorge. from Star Trek. It looks just like a phaser from Star Trek. You got to look this thing up, Rob. It's pretty fun. Okay, I'll look it up. Uh, we're, getting, and, we're bringing them to the cabin. We're going to shoot each other with them. That's what send, we're going to do. Oh, my God. Send. No, no, I don't like stage combat. Send Rob a PM in Discord with the link to the item. Include your email for a DM skill product or your Forge Fancy Guns form name for a Forge product. Do it now. Okay. Now I'm not gonna forget like I always do to leave I leave the slide on the pri okay, and no, I didn't forget. All right, now we're gonna go look this up. What am I looking up? An Ortiz gun? What? An Orbeez? It's called a uh a uh shoot. Uh A gel blaster. Oh my god. Yeah, you I don't want to get hit in the eye with one of these fucking things. Is this the no, one? No, the one I want you to look at is a gel blaster. Yeah, the one on the right down towards the bottom, the green one. That's it. There's oh my god, pistol. look at this fucking how many shots of whatever the right. fuck is there's in a, there. There's a pistol that we could probably get on the plane in our suitcase. <laughs> Jesus Christ. We're gonna be playing that no, one no, on the no. right, right there. The the, the, the pistol. Look at I'm that. not. Like a freaking uh, uh, no, thank you. I am. Not, I mean, when I was a kid, I was all into oh, they that. Fifty bucks. They don't burst. So they're just little balls that you shoot each other. Yeah, Apparently, negative, but, <laughs> negative, sir. Negative. I'm gonna bring my You'll laptop. Shoot your That's eye out, kid. <laughs> Oh my God! 170 <laughs> FPS. Wow, that's if pretty they, fast. If they had this when when I was a kid, we would have fucking just murdered each other. All, everybody. Oh my God! I mean, a, a paintball gun's like maybe 300 or something if if it's a decent one. So I'm, 170. You know what bad. we had when? <laughs> you know what we had? I'll show you what we had. We didn't even have fancy ones. We had uh, we had uh, you know. <laughs> Well, here, I, mean, I know what I need to do. I know what I need. We to shot do. each other with BB guns. I mean, all we did when we were kids. So well, that's a, dangerous. Is... I mean, I never wanted to be hurt. Like, I, like I this is what we had. We BB had fucking this for years. You had to took, take the little stopper out of the back and oh, fill it up in the sink or the hose. Yeah. <laughs> this is what I think this I was. Still the, have mine like that. Was, this was the yeah. highest. That's funny. It says it's a nine millimeter. This was the <laughs> highest level of sophistication when I was a kid. There was no fucking pump action. <laughs> No, none of that shit. And that little that little squirt gun right there was, if you could keep it from leaking all over the place because that stopper sucked, that thing squirted pretty good. If I it was pretty good. You could hit somebody it, 10 feet away big time. Yeah, it was pretty accurate, yeah. yeah. And so it's on eBay. How much do they want for it? Watch, it's going to be like a dollar. $10? Nine. $9. I bet oh. you it leaks. Yeah, I bet it does. Well, let's see the description. <laughs> the it would help you train your cats. <laughs> <laughs> this is a vintage toy from when Rob was a fucking kid. It is not for use. See the note for vintage items. We will not refund or take returns for this does not work. Why would you buy it? If you have any questions. Oh, that's interesting. They're selling it just to put on your shelf? I don't know. Well, I mean, there are a bunch of nostalgic freaking... Yeah. I mean, we're, we're close enough. We're looking shit Gen up, Gen X's. Right? <laughs> some Gen X's real quick. Yeah. Oh, I'm a Gen Xer, baby. I'm a Gen X. Generation X. There's a dispute about what the years are, but I think it's 65 to 80. That's what they say. Wikipedia. Here it is. Here's the, here's the generation chart, you guys. 
Silent Generation, that was my mom. My mom was 1939. Uh, Boomers. They're the people that are everybody's complaining about right now, but probably are smarter than you think. Oh my God, Kitty, you're brazen. She was up on the desk. Yep, I'm going to have to yell at you. Get out of here. <laughs> She's unthreatened by me in any way. Generation X, the worst parents. Generation X are bad parents, you guys. Millennials, we don't need to say anything. Gen Z, we don't need to say anything. Generation Alpha. We don't need to say anything. All right. Um, <laughs> uh, I never even heard of that. So is there, there still go. somebody? Is there still somebody alive? That's 123 or more. I don't think there's anybody alive from the Lost Generation anymore. No, uh, I think the oldest person is what 114. Is that? Yeah, something like that. Um, this is what this show is about, everybody. You, you talk about fantasy grounds for a minute. 116. 116. So my grandmother, uh, she died in 1986, but it was kind of cool because she was born in 1898. I always thought that was pretty cool. I have one of her yeah, bureaus. Gr- I have a bureau that belonged to her that she got when she was a kid. And I, I, I don't, I'm too lazy, but I think like if a home road show or whatever those people came to town, I might call them up because it's probably worse stuff. Well, definitely take like a wagon and stuff and because like, you got to lug it all over the damn place. I know. My mom took a, uh, um, a lamp <laughs> to the road show and they appraised it. It wasn't worth jack. The oldest living person as of May 2023 is 116. She lives in Spain and has her own Twitter account. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, X? Yeah, Sorry, it's X. I need it's to X. update that. It's, it's X. X You're right. Let's see what she says on Twitter. <laughs> She signed up as she signed up four years ago because she signed up as one twelve. That's funny. Uh, okay, where's the translate button? Hello. Twelve point four k followers. Where's the tran? Isn't there supposed to have translate on here? Uh, what do you have to be a fucking verified fucker to? Oh my god, Elon Musk is such an idiot. Actually, he's a genius, but he's an idiot. <laughs> um, hey, well, he's richer than I am. I give him that. Here it is. Translate. She says, August water makes the forest thick. For August, the sea boils and the must boils. In August, it rains. Translation isn't direct. Life is good and bad moments that happen to us between smiles, and you have to enjoy it that way. And then you realize that not everything is controllable. Good summer. Wow, she's a smart lady. I have two notifications. Dungeon Masters Guild retweeted my tweet. Get the fuck out of here. They never do that. Did they really? Dungeon Masters Guild retweeted my tweet. They never do that. That's that's awesome. Which one did they do? Oh, the background class and equipment bundles. Hey, <laughs> look at that, everybody. Hey. That just happened to be the one we were talking about. Because you know, how many sales did you just get? I don't know. Let's what? look. F- Fury, did you get a uh, sale? Fury Fate is my social media manager. Let's look at sales from today. Sales are dog shit now. Every day is this. Every day is like fucking five. Oh, we haven't done this in a while because it's so depressing. It's so depressing. So today's eleven dollars. I mean, I used to make three hundred dollars a day. You guys, this is fucking depressing as fuck. You know, but so let's see. Uh, critically awesome essentials, of course, that sells like one every day anyway. Encounters in the Savage Cities, Fallen from Heavens. That's one of the new ones. Fantasy Grounds NPC Five E Maker. Yes. Sharn the Missing Schema. It's funny. There's the three NPC of those. Maker. Ooh. There's three Sharn ones, and this person only bought one. But they bought the first one. Maybe if they like it, they'll buy the other two. I don't know. Yeah, it's so sad, everybody. So sad. So sad. What's your number one seller on DMs? Oh, let's look at the... uh, Okay, stand by. I think we know what the number one seller is. The number one seller is... Do you have a complete bundle for your 5E stuff? Yes. Okay, so let's do this. Let's uh, data, sort range, advanced. Let's go column B in reverse order. Boom, like that. Okay, so I always have to explain everything. So way back when in 2017, there were 
the coding packages as a zip file, remember? So That's before my time. Yeah, so there's or in 2018, whatever the fuck it was. So there's like 500 of those. So you got to oh, add. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. I remember that. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. So yeah. then now, but then, and then I broke them up into, because you couldn't, the DM Guild didn't have bundles until like 2018. Like it took them two and a half or almost three years. Uh, so Grim, Grimson, I'm going to answer that. So the top seller, if you don't count, you know, like you have to add like 500 to all these numbers, these, these, these coding numbers, these, these ones here. But strictly saying, since I broke them out separately, Critically Awesome Essentials is by far the most popular thing that... Uh, the number two is your class features, really. Wow. Yeah, you'd think it would be spells, right? Yeah, it's right. It's class features. But also, you got to realize on price, too, like, the spells and the class features are expensive. The spells is the most expensive, I think, because it has the most things in it. But... um and as you know, things come out and I add to it or whatever. So yeah, so let's answer uh, let's answer uh, Grimson's question. The uh, and let's let's go over here. Let's go to Discord. Let's go to my Discord, and let's go to not product announcements. Let's go to not how to use this Discord. What is it called? It's called uh, product product updates. Yeah, let's see. Product updates. Not that one. Uh, not oh yeah here's the here's the PDF that tells you uh, what don't I own that Rob Tui has done and that tells you how to find that uh, here's tells you how to find out what's been updated lately uh, answering the question what should I buy first let's look at this so this is suggested stuff to make character okay that that's uh, not what I thought I wanted here. The, the extension okay maybe okay let's go back over let's Wait, go wasn't to... there a tab on that sheet that you found no the that's last time that's like, that tab oh. belongs that tab is remember i couldn't <laughs> find it another tab. i just remember a tab uh, that tab is where is that tab is that it was on a spreadsheet is all i remember yeah it, hang on. where the fuck was that now see i don't i still don't remember now well oh it was in the extensions one wasn't it let's look hmm I think it's in the extensions one. Yeah, player versus DM. There it oh, is. yeah, that's right. All right, but he wants to know, his question was, do you have a complete bundle, bundle for your 5e stuff? So there are bundles. Okay, let's go to DM's Guild. Let's go here to DM's Guild. And let's look at bundle Rob Tui. Let's see what we find. I don't know if that's going to... Okay, so the complete works year one, year two... Year one and two, year three, year one, two, and three, uh, year four. So the all the codings are here as a bundle. And then uh all one, two, three, four is a bundle. Now you're not you don't you're not seeing things like year five and year six because I really didn't do anything in those years. I did a lot of stuff. The insanity nothing. bundle. You ain't gonna get it all. Just anyway. get the insanity That's bundle. Here you go, the insanity <laughs> bundle. Ouch. The Insanity Bundle, if you don't own anything, let's, let's this tell me. The Insanity Bundle, if you don't own anything, will cost you like nine hundred dollars. <laughs> By it the way, it says Rob a dollar twenty-five yeah, right I, now. It, the, I don't know. It. I don't know what it says. I don't own because I own everything. Uh, here's how you can here's how you can check that. Let's go here. Here's how you can check this. Let's go to my name, right? Let's go to Rob Tui, right? Rob Tui. And let's check Fantasy Grounds Friday tips. Remember, remember. So I hide hide already purchased titles. I, I, I there's nothing. Four hundred eighty eight items, and I I own them all. So why does that bundle tell me I don't own something? I don't know. You tell me. Anyway, um, it depends on what you want. So his he literally was asking for your five e stuff. So. The, you know, and then you got to remember, uh, Grimson, there's purple covers, which is me personally, but then there's Team Tui, and Team Tui has a bundle, um, Team Tui Essentials. So green is Matakuri. Uh, oh, wait, just here. Yeah, here we go. So orange is Diablo Bob, green's Matakuri. Gray is, who is gray? Gray is, uh, 
Who's Gray? How um, come I don't know who Gray is? Oh, oh, yeah, Mark Gaffney. Uh, he only, I think he only has one or two. Oh, yeah, he does. He has the DMG and the player's hammer. Okay, uh, Troy is red. Chris is is so Troy is priest. Uh, Chris is um, gaming Buddhist. Uh, he's blue, and uh, Kent is teal or whatever color that is. So th- this is a bundle. Uh, this is a bundle that it has basically everything Team Tui in it. I'll put this link in the chat. Don't, don't forget to use the affiliate code. By the way, if you guys ever go to uh, DMs Guild and you don't see that eight seven eight five zero seven at the end. That means that you're going to buy something and I'm not going to get 5% of it or 8% of it. You should so, make a song so people remember it. 8785077. So, you know. So. <laughs> what Jenny Jenny 8675309. Yeah. So mine's 87850007, but it's only, it, it's it only six digits. It is. 878507. Use it. Um so yeah, Robbie, don't you lose that number? So yeah, and if you buy, uh, yeah, so it just depends on. So what if you you're, <clears throat> it yeah, just and depends. if you're, if you're new to extensions and modules and stuff in Fantasy Grounds, just just take it a little slow at first and, and get to know it, and then right. Also, and then buy everything, yeah, because you're going to anyways. So also, I did do. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> Losing my voice all of a sudden. <clears throat> Rob Tui PDF. Where where oh, is right. it? Uh, you you typed in player. I don't. Oh, yeah, right that's what I want. Rob Tui player. Oh, that's what I want. Right there. Because I I have I do have a bundle like. Uh, I have a bundle for players and for DMs like what to start with, and why that's not showing up here I don't know. What the fuck. Okay, here let let's go. This this will have this will be in the bundle. So let's go look at this, and the bundle will be at the bottom. Bundle, 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 bundle. Here we go. Yeah, Fantasy Grounds Player Starter Kit. So there's that. So the Player Starter Kit has background proficiencies, language and features, quick class list start, conditions and effects, uh, background class and equipment bundles. Hello, we talked about that. Uh, feet list with benefits, race ability modifiers, key class stats, and spells, cantrips, and, and known and prepared per class. Okay, so there's also a Fantasy Grounds DM starter kit that I put together. So let's look at that. Here it is right here. This one has the crit tables, the conditions and effects, the next level XP automation. Thank you. Magic shops and random item runner tables, random encounter creator, random. Now that also includes the random monster table, random trap tables, reincarnation race table. So all the things you need as a DM to get started. So there you go. So Bane is saying, uh, Robbie, don't you lose that. Uh, let's see. Let me go back up. So I, I, so Grimson, that's the best I can do to answer your question. I hope that helps you. There are multiple bundles. Yeah. Bane says there's also packs based on the year of release. Yes. On DMs Guild, when you go to any of the extensions or modules, if you look near the end of the products details, you'll be able to see if they're in a bundle. Yep, we just did that. Uh, also known as Rob's Big Package. I own Rob's Big Package. It makes me happy. Oh, shit. Uh, Rob, you don't need to lose a number. A recommendation to start with is to look at something you're already trying to solve first. By the way, Grim, uh, Grimson, another good tip is to come to Discord. If you're not watching this show on Sunday night, come to our Discord channel and just chat with people. Um, people are very helpful and they'll sort of point you in the right direction. Uh, if you are looking for something in particular that we don't answer for you here tonight, you also get credit when you buy a bundle for anything you already own. Yes, that is that that's, what's nice about the bundles. See, it says this bundle cost me $0 because I already own everything in it. So if I owned, like, let's say I had all the stuff in here, but I was missing the crit tables, then I could get this bundle for three forty, because you get the bundle price. You get the 15% off. And depending on the bundle, they're, most of them are 15% off. Some of them are 20. Uh, if you buy everything, it's 75% off at all. If you buy the uh, the, the the monster, um, what's it called? The 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 the, uh, the uh, insanity bundle, which by the way is permanently on sale now. I used to just put it on sale sometimes, but it's on sale all the time now. You know why? Because it's expensive. 
And so if people buy it, God bless them. You get every, you get all 400 and whatever, however many titles. Look, watch, I'll, I'll scroll down. We're just in the C's right now. D's, E's. You get everything I've ever put on DMs Guild, whether it was something I personally made or just conversions that we did, the team stuff. You get all of it. You get everything. And uh, the joke... That's how, the, that that would be cool is is uh, the Insanity Bundle um, prize wheel. Oh yeah, just which one do you get? Which one do you get? But the uh, the joke and that people make who get this, is... <laughs> the joke that people make who buy this is that it takes them a fucking year to download it. Uh, oh look, there's a there's a there little... is a commitment. There's a however. Little... The beauty about DMs Guild is that you don't have to download them unless you want to. Right. right? They are still there. Just use the DMs Guild as your storage device. That's you right. You know, until you're ready for them. By the way, in addition to... It's a little clunky to figure stuff out on it, but... <laughs> if there's any rich people in the uh, audience today, let me just put this link in the chat. If you're, uh, if you're well-to-do and you want to throw some money away... Well, you're not throwing it away, but if you want to throw money at me, you can buy this bundle... And not only will you get 75% off everything you buy, I will get 8% on top of the money you spend. So if you spend 200 bucks, I'm going to get 16 bucks. Boom. Wow. You know how many Happy Meals you could freaking get for free? <laughs> a lot. Bucks? Hey, he said he just grabbed <laughs> one, two, three, four. So let's go look. Let's go back over here and look at that sale. So we were at $11.29. Let's run the report. Oh, did I screw it up? I might have screwed it up. Uh... We're running the report, everybody. Sometimes it takes a minute. Mm, 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 mm. In the meantime, I'm going to run a commercial. I'm just kidding. Yeah, thank you, Gr Grimson. Uh, and, and if you need uh, help or you need more information, you know, just come to the Discord. Always willing to help you out there. Um, Where are the Cheetos? <laughs> Where are the Cheetos? If there's girls there, I want to do them. We have that one, too. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to open that. Because it's somebody... I'm attacking the darkness! I'm attacking the darkness! You're saving $898.43. McClancy is a... Uh, McClancy 10006. Not only is he second on the bit list, not only is he a, uh, a first badge founder, not only is he a moderator, he is also an owner of the Insanity Bundle. Yeah, here we go! Look at all that. Oh, so today's sales now are $100. Nice. Wow. Now, wait a minute. That Somebody else must have bought something because what he, he said he bought years one through four, right? That is not that is not something that would give me $100. DMs Guild, Tui, one, two, three, four, whatever. I don't know how to find it. Here it is right here. That bundle is... Oh, maybe, maybe so. Maybe if he didn't have anything, yes. Yeah, maybe that did give me $89. Thank you, sir. Oh, oh yeah, he bought it. Unknown whom? Unknown whom, yeah, unknown whom. And by the way, you get the PDF and the Fantasy Crown Sponge. And unknown whom, too, and the PDF and the Fantasy Crown Sponge. And uh, very important, hold on, where is it, where is it, where is it? <laughs> very important, the Acme spells. <laughs> the Acme spells. That was spells. a community. That was yeah, community, it was totally. Uh, uh, it's kind of see. funny. It's funny to read it is through funny. it. I think, it uh... It's and it, I think I even said like um, I said something about this isn't really meant to be played. Oh, to be it's, clear, this is for comedy. This is more free. reading I mean, material. It's play what you want. It's not free, but it's but they are they are even though it's not meant to be used. They are coded in there. They are you know they're they're you can use them if you want. <laughs> you know, but... Let's get them as an example of one. Uh, so let's go it. look. Do you have Let's any look. right there? Let's go. Oh, look. you're going to open it. You're going to open it. Uh, Acme. Acme spells. Let's look. So you guys remember the old Warner Brothers cartoons, right? <laughs> Acme. In the style of Mr. Wild E. Coyote. I had to be careful about like copyright and shit, so I didn't... Uh, you know, I had to be crazy. Uh, yeah, there's no art of it or anything. Okay, so, so let's go to the spells here. Let's go. Nah, nah, nah. Yeah, there's no art or anything. Just this uh, wham, which I, that is not really a Warner Brothers wham, but it kind of gives you the feeling. Spells. Okay, so <laughs> Acme Minor Illusion, Acme Bread, uh, Animate Bread. By the way, um, 
beacon of hopelessness. Why is oh bacon of hopelessness and beacon of hopelessness? By the way, those are separate things. Those are not the same. Uh, by the way, why aren't these fucking locked? What the hell? Lock it, um, link it, load it, link it, lock it. Anyway, uh, so the spell. Okay, so so bacon of hopelessness. This spell intensifies the delicious smell of bacon while removing all taste. For the duration, the bacon has no flavor and has a consistency of gritty mud in the mouth. Additionally, the aroma emitted from the bacon is unbelievably mouthwatering. The creatures within 30 feet radius must make a constitution save to be completely, that should say saving throw, or be completely, or be compelled to eat or fight over the piece of bacon. Until the spell ends, the bacon is to be fully consumed. Affected creatures can take no other actions. By the way, this was a community effort. Uh, I know I had to have put... Credits. Oh, credits. Yes. Drake, Min Clark, Maticuri, Dragon Bait, haven't seen him for a while, Diablo Bob, and Yurash, haven't seen him for a while. So those are the people that made... Uh, I, I, you know, I put a chat room in my Discord and said, hey, if anybody wants to contribute. So we have how many spells in there? 21, I think. Uh, two, four, six, eight, ten. Two, four, six, eight, twenty-one. I, was I don't right. even remember which one I did or which. Yeah, I don't I think did. I. I don't think I put uh, the name. I. You know what I should have done is I should have done something like. Oh, I think I think mine was the bird feeder. I think I should have done something like that, so it had people's names. Uh, yeah. but I tell you something. I tell you something. I tell you. Yeah, you right have it now. on the spreadsheet somewhere. That's for I, sure. I, probably. I probably do, but where where is it? Acne spells. Here they are. So let's go to Drake. Let's find Drake. Drake. I don't like that. I don't. Yurosh has U dot yeah. dot. And if you click well, on it, it doesn't tell you. Streamer oh, mode. Streamer mode, yeah. If you disable streamer mode, it would go But away. So why does Diablo Bob show up? I guess he gave permission for that or something. Yeah. All right. So let's go to Drake. Where's Drake? You're probably the first one. Drake takes. There. Snillox Snowball, Snowball, Snowball Maker. Maker. <laughs> so let's go read it over here. Snillox Snowball Maker. Here's right here. Uh, let's lock it, link it, lock it, load it. Uh, one action, five feet, VSM, an ice cube tray you need. <laughs> Concentration up to one minute. An icy chest of bitter cold appears on your back, harming neither you nor your equipment. Oh, I know this one. This was from the... You can use the sn Snillox Snowball Maker to lay a path of frozen ground five feet wide in the square closest to the direction of travel. Creatures able to travel on ice on slippy surfaces, such as those wearing skis... Their speed is increased by 10 feet until the spell ends. The creature using the snowball maker in this way must spend two actions to stop moving. This is hilarious. The spell ends automatically when the creature slams into stationary objects. Upon impact, the creature takes 1d6 bludgeoning damage for every 10 feet it travels to a maximum of 20d6. At higher levels, no creature has survived casting this at lower levels yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. That's fucking great. So do you snillock? What what is the oh oh? I gotta fix that apostrophe. It looks like how, how did snillock came from where? What is that? Collins backwards. Uh, what is that? There's a there's a, I think that's a five e thing. Snillock. Is it? Let's look. Oh, forgotten room. Boom. There you go. Okay. Very good. Yeah. Anyway, these are the types of things you guys can expect if you buy my stuff. Uh, acne spells. Acne what spells, was the acne other spells. one that that was kind of community? Uh... uh, the other community one was Yo well, Mama, Yo Mama. Oh, the yeah, the Yo Mama, the the uh, D and D Yo Mama jokes. <laughs> Yo Mama, so stupid, <laughs> Kenku refused to mimic her. Yeah, there's a Yo Mama. Uh, let's see, and these are Bardic. Uh, these are Bardic. Yeah, Bardic. Bardic Yo Mama jokes. So let's go look at some of them. Uh, thank yous. Yeah, see, here's here's all the people that con contributed to uh, lots of people in the B's and D's. Uh, it's D and D. There's lots of D's and D. And, and D. even I wrote a couple. <laughs> Have fun, Rob Tui. Let's see instructions. Here's the table. Yeah, so you can roll a table, or you can either roll on a table, or just have the table open and use it. And I think there's a hundred of them. Uh, your mama is so dumb. And we, we, we made it so that Mama was spelled with two M's. We, we were very consistent about that. Uh, even though Mama, you know, could be spelled with one M, I guess. Your Mama's so dumb, she thinks 4E is fun. <laughs> Your Mama's so fat, I rolled a one and still hit her. <laughs> and 
No fat shaming. No fat. Look at they're all there. There's so many fat ones. Uh, these are in alphabetical order, but by the way, uh, that's how I put the table. Your mama is so nasty. Well, Your mama's so nasty. The Tarrasque witched itself to death before avoiding eating her. Your mama so nasty. She sweats ochre jelly. Yeah. So anyway, you guys, if you're a bard and you want some your mama jokes, you can either roll on the table and get one, or you can take them right off the table. Your mama's so weak. She has a negative challenge rating. <laughs> so there you go, everybody. Your mama jokes. Everything's in there. Um, all right, let me catch up to chat. Uh, I don't think we have the Mountain Dew one, Bane. Some no, I didn't no, didn't get that one in there somehow. Um, I cast a spell. Yeah, the Mountain Dew, and then there's a a couple of them I might delete. Like, there, I don't like this there one. Are any girls there? Oh no, that's okay. Here, this one. Girls there, I want to do them. It doesn't make sense. It, and and by the way, Discord only gives you five seconds. You can only do sign bots for yeah, five that... seconds, which kind of sucks. Um, Fuck <laughs> my big team of no. dick. <laughs> so uh, we. That was a classic moment cast right there. Magic yeah. missile. Oh, and what was fun last night? I did it both Friday and Saturday, but somebody said quarter staff, and I came in with. Actually, it's a buck and a quarter quarter staff, but I'm not telling him that. <laughs> Fucking love it. So, uh, okay. Uh, I had it on zip format a while back, and it worked great. Oh, I, I maybe I'm lost. What? Okay. Uh, just updating. It's Rob Tui's. A reference to Rob 2.0. Oh, no, no. It's my last... Yeah, so Bane, Bane did... He's right. It is my last name. T-W-O-H-Y. Jacked up. My last name is so jacked up, you guys. It's so jacked up. So, so my my middle name is William, right? And... Williams. Robin Williams died in 2014. He died... As a matter of fact, I was in the hospital getting a liver transplant when, when he died. So, uh, but I when I was a comedian, I had thought... This brilliant thing that I would do is wait. What ch- Robin Williams died in 2014? Yeah, he's been dead almost 10 years, dude. Wow, I know it's crazy. Michael Jackson died in 09. I mean, it's it's pretty crazy when you think about how long people have been dead. So I was gonna change my name because I hate my last name. I can never do it now because of all the shit I have with my name on it. But I was gonna change my name to Rob Rob Williams, right? I was gonna just use my middle name and change my name. I would, I would be maybe not even change it, but just as a comedian, go by Rob Williams because I thought it was a genius idea to call up comedy clubs and book and say, I'm calling to book. Uh, I want to, you know, Rob Williams wants to come to your, wants to come to your comedy club. And they would go Robin Williams. And uh, Oh shit. Oh yeah. Okay. What date you looking for? You know? And then, and you know, this is my brilliant plan I was going to do and then get, you know, show up and be like, Oh no, no, it's Rob Williams. And then you, you, you know, but then it's too late now. You gotta, you know, they gotta give you the money. You gotta pay, you gotta do the show, you know, and you can do that once, <laughs> you know, before somebody tells on you about that, but that's what, that was going to be my brilliant plan. Um, I need to throw an, in an NPC that just casts all these. Oh yeah. The, the, <laughs> yeah, those spells, um, be our guest in the background. Last name is too. Uh, I'm way behind on the chat, you guys. Snillock came out of a Tome of Magic in 2nd Edition. 2E, not not my name, but 2nd Edition. That's another thing is people always think I'm... Rob 2E is Rob 2nd Edition. No, no, it's not. It's just I have a fucked up name. That's what it is. This is mockery. Wait, there's ogres? I have an ogre saying you're not there. Rob 2.0 is a coding reference. Is it really? Rob 2.0 is a coding reference? Or just, just 2.0, meaning the next version. What? Rob 2, version 2 of the Cochrane b- Risk of Bias Tool of Randomized... What? No, this is a medical thing, isn't it? I don't know. I'm not sure. It's something being biased. It's R-O-B, biased. R small O, capital B. Yeah, I don't know. All right. Risk of Bias Tools. Risk of Bias. R-O-B. Email. Back to school specials. It sounds like an army thing. Cancel. The Rob. Look, my email box only has one email in it, everybody, and it came April 16th. I still haven't dealt with it. I got to do a video of my sauna so I can get a $75. I haven't done it yet. All right. Like Fancy Grounds and Sandy Bundle. 
You yeah. should you should put your Buy cats it. in the sauna and then do a video. <laughs> put the cats inside. Two things. They did come in there with me once. They actually liked it. They I, I thought let me let me you know because what they do is they claw the glass while I'm in there. They paw the glass to you know like love me, pick me up, touch me, pet me. So I thought, okay, fucker, come on in. And that cat laid down and didn't want to leave. And, you know, it's 110 degrees or 120 degrees or whatever. They How often do you get in that thing? My goal is to get in it four or five days a week, but mm, I haven't been doing that. Because, and and it's it's laziness. Because you got to, you got to, you know, start it up, let it warm up. Then go in it for 40, 25 to 40 minutes, depending on how I feel. Right. You then you got to take a shower. A so it's a fucking, it's an hour out of your day to do that, you know, and, and it's good for you. But, you know, it's it's also why I don't, you know, walk. I, you know, I don't do any I, exercise because I don't want to spend the time. I never, play Baldur's Gate. I never really got into a sauna, but I, I don't see myself enjoying just sitting there sweating. I mean, that's, well, I could just do so, that but, outside. I live in but Florida. But it's got Bluetooth and I can play like well, podcasts there. while I'm in there. And it, technically I could even watch TV because my, it's right next to my, TV in my living room, and I could turn my TV and watch my 75 inch TV if I want. You can play trivia too. The Moops. The mo- Are you talking about Netflix and Netflix? The bubble, the bubble Boy from Seinfeld, actually. Is what oh, I'm Moops. Saying. No, it's not. I'm sorry. Oh, George. <laughs> Ooh, no, I'm sorry. It's the Moops. That's a misprint. <laughs> the, mo- <laughs> the Moops. Hey, somebody, hold on. Wait a minute. Did I catch it in time? Oh, you, you guys might have saw an ankle there. I think that's Tyler. Somebody just walked by. Let's keep an eye out front because so these orange cones, they've brazenly been moving them like six inches a day, more, 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 more. They Now they're all fucking crooked out there like that. Uh, I got to put a camera up so that it looks to the West. So you guys can see what they're building over there. They, uh, you know, the, right now it's, they're just shaping the landscape. They're, they're digging and you could just put a, a like a, a mirror shutter on it so it just angles the camera lens so you can see down. Put, the yeah, like put a put a big mirror right like a twelve foot mirror right in my driveway here so it just shows that way. That's funny. The back That's, of it says "Do not turn around in my driveway." I have, yeah. You guys see those two new tire marks here in the middle? That just happened the other day. There, I thought they were gonna fade away. Nope, they're there. So now I got three tire marks, not just one. I watched this happen. This guy, yeah, some fucker. So there was a bouncy house over here, and it was a kid's birthday party. The brown house over here, they had like a 10-year-old kid's birthday party. There was a bouncy house and a slide and a bunch of fucking tents and everything. So the car was just lined with streets, right? Those people obviously, you know, I'm not a parent, so I don't know, but apparently what you do for your child's birthday party is invite every fucking person you know to come to that. So this truck drove up. Drove there he is. Is that Tyler? I think that's Tyler. I'm not sure if that's Tyler or not. I can't tell. He's too far away. Drove up, drove, drove, and then you see how far he didn't just turn around two wheels. He fucking drove into my driveway, like almost up to the garage door and turned around. It was fucked up. And he backed in too. He didn't come in face first. He backed in. It was weird. Anyway, and I thought Uh-oh. And I I I almost so later I left and I saw he was parked way down here where you can't see down by the main street. But I thought the guy turned around and left. But if I, I was watching him and I was watching to see where he was going to park and I was literally going to put my shoes on, go outside, go track that guy down and say, Hey, you just turned around in my driveway over there and you left two tire marks. If you would please come over and clean that, that would be great. And just see what he said, you know, probably would have been like, fuck off. But, um, I'm okay. I'm a person who lives my life with, so, so there's two kinds of people. There's the kind of person that would have felt bad about that or sociopath who doesn't give a fuck. So I'm the kind of person that if I would have tracked that guy down and told him, Hey, come clean my driveway. And he said, no, I'm not going to do it. I'd be equally satisfied just knowing that he knew he did that. And it had upset me, even if he doesn't want to fix it. Or finding out that he's a sociopath. So I win either way. <laughs> you know, because your bank he, doesn't like the price. It looks like fraud. What, what did you just buy? All of it? What? Oh, Grimson, I want to know all about this. Your bank thought that the DMs Guild purchase was a fraudulent purchase? We need to. 
Oh, we need to, we need to fucking, we need to report that. We need to let them, let the DMs Guild know that banks are fucking thinking their shit is fraud. They need to fucking do something about that. That's fucked up. Now, wait a minute. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, wait, this goes over here. Okay, wait a minute. Where, 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 uh, okay, wait a minute. Three camps still on. See, if I, if I run this report and it's back down to $11, I'm going to fucking flip out because 181 followed by 890. Oh, did you buy the, <laughs> did you buy the oh. whole, oh my God. <laughs> He bought the Grimson bought the. I said if there's anybody rich. You know, no, he tried to. He, he tried look, to. look, look, look at this. Look, look. <laughs> <laughs> Good day, you guys. Good day. Good day. That used to be every day. And, and I'm not talking about people bought the whole thing. I'm just talking about I would sell enough coding packages and whatever to make like $300 a day. So this used to be my average day. So Grimson, thank you so much. Yeah, I can see why if you did two right in a row over, you know, uh, over in the hundreds. We're uh, still looking at your driveway. Oh, Jesus Christ. I fucking fucked up again. So <laughs> this is today's sales, everybody, because Grimson bought the Insanity Bundle. So as you see, he's got one copy of everything. Everything, 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 everything. Uh, so you yeah, need to keep track of what you put out too, because all you got to do is refresh the bundle like thing, and it'll tell you what you don't have. Right. Yes, but that is a good point. So Grimm's and every once in a while, as a matter of fact, every month or so, you should check the bundle because there'll be new titles in there that nobody gets for seventy five percent off, but you will. Anybody that owns the bundle will get the seventy five percent off price. But I wait. You know, I don't put new things in there for thirty days. Uh, I, I could see Grimms and why they would have a pro like your credit card company is just trying to help you and protect you. So if you bought something for 181 and then 895, <laughs> I could see why they'd be like, wait a minute. But yeah, so good. Thank you so much, sir. You're my new favorite person today. Look at this. Look at this. Look, 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 look. Everything, 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 everything. Now keep in mind also all the people, all the authors. You see all these percentages. If it's 50%, that means I did it, right? That's all the money goes to me. But all these lower percentages, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, You just 20, fed a whole bunch of people. Just fed a whole bunch of people. Everybody everybody got their cut on all this stuff. So everybody got their money. Like, I don't know, it's over 100 people, I'm sure. Uh, yeah, so everybody, 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 everybody. 75% off. Yeah, see, look how much stuff costs. What's the lowest one? Let's see. Is there one? Here's 49 cents. 25 cents. cents. Cheer bits. 13 cents. A McClancy uh, 10,006. Cheer bits. Uh, eight, nine, and nine. Eight, eight, nine, and nine. Eight, nine, and nine. Cheer bits. Um, I did, oh, I didn't take out Gorby Doll? No? Is that what No, Gorby Doll had... Uh, he was at 1,500. Oh. Because he did that last night. I oh, think, that's right. right. Yeah, I remember. He took, I took out Bob, and then he took me out. I made a little money today, you guys. I made uh, thanks to uh, Mark and and Grimson and and uh, and, uh, and and you, all you guys that bought stuff and, and cheer bits and and following and and subscribe and, and I made a little money today. So today was a good day. Today is a day that isn't as depressing as every other day. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! So you know, two hundred ninety-four bucks. That's amazing. But yeah, the depressing part is. I, I used to sit here at my computer and refresh those sales in 2020 and 2021. And if it didn't hit 300, I'd be like, ah, crap. Today was a bad day. <laughs> now I'm like, is it over 50 bucks? Do I make as much money as I would if I was working at McDonald's for 16 bucks an hour? No. All right. Let's go back to, let's go back to, let's go back to this. Let's refresh it. <laughs> let's refresh it again. Let's see if we can go over 300. Did anybody buy anything? Okay, 294.89. Refresh. Let's see what we get. Bane says, and the best part is that they keep updating things when Fantasy Grounds changes and breaks the extensions. Yeah, when Fantasy Grounds does a major update, usually everybody scrambles to go change something that they that they broke. Pretty much across the board, a few developers have had live events. Yeah, that is true. I by the way, I did talk to Chris Gaming Buddhist the other day, or he messaged me and said. Yeah, I'm here, but then he didn't. I asked him about his product, and he didn't follow up with that. 
Uh, two ninety four eighty nine. Uh... Drake, we haven't sold anything in the last five minutes. Uh oh. I say we like you're getting a cut of this. Yep, uh, I get a cut. I get everything I want for free. That's that is true. That the, is true. After I got the bundle, so it's it was nice. <laughs> but you get all the new stuff for free. Uh, anything <laughs> anything you ever want. Yeah, and I usually what I do, guys, is I give my DM. I'm a nice guy. I give my DMs. Anybody that DMs on my channel, I give them whatever they need. What's whatever funny need. is most of your DMs still want to buy the stuff. So we, yeah, we because you guys are supportive and awesome. Have it. So here's all those people. Here's my deal. Like Robin is really bad. I could try to give her stuff. She's like, no, no, I'm going to buy it. I'm going to buy it. And you know, she's, she's not rich. Um, so my DMS are Drake, Robin, Havoc, Furied has DM'd, um, Joe, Joe, Mark, Mark, um, me, (laughs) I DM, I I have, it's true. It, It has happened. You can go to YouTube and prove that I've DM'd. Check out Rob Tui's internet presence is a link tree. Um, Chris, I'll let me Have go you see DM'd what Chris for said. Me? Have I been in the game of years for you? Let me go DM'd? see what Chris said when I talked to him. Maybe in one shots. He? Where is he? Where is he? Where did I miss him? Let me see. Gaming. Gaming Buddhist. Where? How come I can't? He's not. What the hell? I know I just talked to him like, okay, here we go. Oh yeah, people here, let me disable streamer mode. Uh it didn't do anything. The names are still hidden. That's <laughs> cause you gotta like wait a second. There, see now it's showing up. Yeah, where did he go? I just talked to him. No, oh, maybe it was longer ago than I thought it was. No, that Brad, I know I've talked to him last since I talked to Brad. Yeah, these are Steve of Sirenscape is on his cell phone. Um, boy, you guys, I don't know what happened. Let me go to his room. Maybe he had a dream. Maybe it was a dream. Let me go to his room. Where's his room? Chris. Chris. Mad Nomad. Chris. 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 Here it is. Uh, huh. He hasn't posted in here. The last we'll post scroll in here was up and April. See what is... See what, yeah, where's his? All where the, did he leave the server? No, that's he would still have his messages in here. What the hell, man? Oh, here we go. Okay. So, oh, there it is. August, See, it's mindful dev. That's why. He oh, mindful there. dev. I would have never fucking. So. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I have his name in here. But, I, yeah, I would never... Yeah, so I, you see it up here, but a Mindful Dev, he changed his whole fucking thing. Uh, hey, Rob, I'm do So this is August 9th. Hi, Rob, I'm doing good. Just got back from a week-long camping trip. How's it going with you? And I'm like, good. Also wondering if the stream overlay stats thing is completely up to date. He didn't answer me. So he's alive. Just didn't answer me. Um, I don't want to... This is probably Darth... Darth Darth Way is, uh, I'm sure, the prize winner. What's his name on Twitch? Is uh, I forget. What's what's your name on Twitch, Darth Way? I don't want to dox his info, so okay. All right. Uh, he is showing online. Is he showing? Yeah, he is showing online. So yeah, why is he not answering me? I don't know. Uh, Lord Way, that's right. So Lord Way, do I have your permission to open your... Uh, message to me and, and give you the prize or would you rather not I dox your email and or FG form name because people will see it. Sure, he says okay. Alright, let's do it. He wants all the rest. Oh yeah, Robin's module. That's a good one. Let's go to... Oh yeah, that is a nice handy one too. That's a good one to have. Let's go to uh, give. Let's go to my let's go to my give link and let's go to all the rest. Uh... 5 be coding all the rest, magic items. $26 value. Boom. Free. And send. You got it, buddy. You win. That's how you do it, everybody. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. And we did already 813. We already greened it out. Greening, greening it out. That's a that's a verb. Drake won't be here next week, you guys. We'll see if I'm doing that by myself. If any of these other ladies show up to the show. No, uh, you need to make sure somebody's with you. We don't have any special shows planned for the future. Here, let me extend these. Let me extend these down, and let's see what I want to do about. Uh, 
let's see what I want to do about going. Hold on. I'm going to. So first of all, here we go. I can't believe we're we're going to be talking about your days off. Right. That's what I'm going to. That's what I'm going to put in there right now. <laughs> so January 13th, and the Super Bowl is February 11th. Okay. That's my birthday. February 11th. My birthday is uh, like two weeks later. Uh, here we go. No show vacation. Okay. Let's see if it works out. January 13th. I said. January 13th. So January 14th. Wait, what? No. Was that last year? January? Uh, Mark. Oh, yeah, yeah. January Mark. 13th is a Saturday. Of course, of course. Okay. So January 14th is... Mark uh, says if uh, if you get a show with four hosts and 20 in the chat, he'll buy an insanity bundle to give away. <laughs> that sounds like a challenge. Wait, what did he say? If you get a show with four hosts and 20 in the chat. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Okay, so... Um, I'm gonna copy that. <laughs> uh, Make a quote out of. I'm gonna and I'm gonna go to our chat here and I'm gonna go. Hey, uh, I'll say everyone because I don't want to think. This was said today, and then I'll post it in there, and they'll see it. If you have a show with four hosts and twenty people plus, you know, buy an insanity bundle to give away. Um, hi, Kitty. I know. Mark just said he was going to PayPal me $900. Uh, <clears throat> all right. Thank you, Mark. That Everybody is very wants generous. to be on the show. Everybody's volunteering to be on the show. <laughs> Grimson will be a host. <laughs> That's funny. You didn't say which host, Mark. <laughs> I got I got Grimson and, uh, Nor- and uh, Lord Wade wait, ready to come on. That is funny. Um, I, think, I think we I think we were assuming the hey, four hosts. By the uh, way, yeah, I think, I think I – by the way uh, – Mark, Mark said, I did not say which house. Um, Mark, 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 you guys need to know. Mark McClancy's an independently, well, he's a billionaire. He just doesn't, he doesn't admit it. He's a billionaire. He's got billions of dollars. Um, um, I forgot. Yeah, that's oh, why, that's why it still I, works. I, it just, it just remind. yeah, that's why he still has a job. I just reminded me that when you guys were offering to come on the show, if anybody in the audience has a legitimate reason to come on the show, like if you, uh, do things about with fantasy grounds or you're a, or, you know, I mean, just anything, you know, PM me. If you have an interest on coming on the show, uh, that's legitimate that you can, you know, show people stuff or do anything. Yeah. Send me a message and we'll, we'll, I'll put you on the show. Okay. Kitty, it's enough already. Come here. (laughs) This cat is pawing me. And then when I reach for her, she runs away. Um, uh, yeah, (laughs) So, McClancy, I need to talk to you because I'm a hundred air, and I need to, as of today, I'm a hundred air, so I need to learn how to get to thousand air. Um, so yeah, let me go back to uh, show notes. Oh, that's on the other screen. Fantasy grounds. Let's see. Uh, oh right, we were doing this. So this is going to be quite the extended vacation. A million dollars is not even enough to retire these days, right? You know what I mean? No, it's not. Um, my vacation isn't going to be that long. What? You got to be kidding me. No. Well, last year it was like half the year. It was eight weeks last year. I think, so let's go back to last year. So last year it was two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, it was eight weeks I took off and I would like to, oh, I know what I did. I took from Christmas. Yeah. What am I doing? I'm I'm wrong again. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Yeah. 24th. Is... So I'll do I'll do Christmas Eve. I'll do Christmas Eve if people want to show up for it. I'll do it. Uh, but so put... not. So I'll take seven weeks off. One, two, three, four, five, six. I should fucking take eight weeks off. Fuck it. I'm taking eight weeks again. <laughs> I gotta reset. You know, I gotta recharge my brain. You guys, you guys get it. By the way, when I do this, all that means is I'm not gonna stream. But I'll I'll still be on Discord every day. I'll still be talking to people and. You know, I'm just not going to be doing my Sunday commercial. And he he might go somewhere at some point, but oh like yes, I need to or something. Didn't you? Oh, I need to. That? Oh boy, but you know, during the when we go to Denver, we always we do try to stream that. So I, that's not a we'll still try to do it. Although that Sunday night, all right, I better check my flight. All right, let's go check flight information, everybody. Let's check it. Uh, oh, when you're flying back yeah flying back 
I'm flying back uh, Denver to Spokane, October 29th from 7 to 8.30. October 29th is a Sunday, so there will not be a show this day. No show. Let's... Okay. Well, you get Wi-Fi on the plane, you could be like... <laughs> yeah, wrong. No show, Denver and Dragons. What did I say? What In years past, how did I say that? Um... Rob sick. I was sick one year. I was sick one day, you guys. I remember. Discord and Windows suck. <laughs> <laughs> Discord and Windows sucks ass. I couldn't, I just couldn't get the stream going that day. Uh, oh, Rob and Fury at Whistler. Rob at PAX West. Rob at Spokon. Well, I used to go places, you guys. I used to do things. Um... I want to go to Gary Con. That's the only thing I'm really I would, on. My yeah, list. if if Rob actually takes a long weekend, <laughs> power outage. Now, see, I shouldn't have that problem I don't anymore. I care about Gen Con. I think I think I would enjoy Gary Con the most. So I've been Just sick. I also of, think Lake Geneva is probably out of two hundred and out of two hundred and fifty six shows. I've been sick twice. No show. By the way, these should be. Uh, what? Yeah. Whatever. Elminster himself at Gary Con, yeah. Well, I I kind of also talked to Luke Igax. Uh, we were actually in the in the in the same division in Germany together at the same time. Hey, you guys know I I watched the uh, Dream in Gary's Basement documentary that I kickstarted. Pretty interesting. I don't know that it's publicly available. Uh, let's find that. Let's find out about that. Dream in Gary's basement. Public showing. I think they're trying to make that a uh, a historical building too. His house in Lake Geneva. Is that the basement? I'm thinking. Uh oh yeah, the basement was. Oh, here we go. Kickstarter. It's a Kickstarter. Yeah, it is. It is so I have a link that I can go watch, you know, but it's not, I can't like show it on stream or anything because it's public. But I, but I'm, I'm assuming that they'll eventually make it like a, you know, on Netflix or something. Uh, let's see. Dream in Gary's basement coming to Netflix. You know, I just, you know, whatever I can do to prompt. Gygax is a down on his luck shoe repairman. It says it's 2021. It, by the way, <laughs> oh, here, so uh, watch this. Dream. It was one of the very first Kickstarters I ever did. Um, and, well, it was on the search earlier, but. But watch this. I Kickstarted this in 2017, maybe? 2018? When was it? Uh, show me rewards. Uh, doesn't it show me? Oh, yeah, your pledge twenty dollars. But when was it supposed to be? Okay, here, hold on. Campaign. April of nineteen was their estimate, so it was only four and a half years late, because it just came out like well, not four and a half, but almost four and a half. It just came out like three days ago, so they they took forever to do it, and uh. Who, who's they? Who who did the it, the people? Know? I don't know. I don't know who 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 are they. The people. Uh, the people. Uh, let's see. Where's about us? Where's you could, the? You could just write it off. You know. You just write it off. <laughs> the dorks of yore. Justin Andrew Mason. Uh, you know th these guys. I don't know. Patrick. Huh. Uh. Hey. Here. Here we go. Let me just ask him. Um. Uh. Love the movie. <laughs> Will it ever? become public uh you know netflix etc question mark question mark um love the movie will it ever become public netflix etc okay etc not etc right but trying to run fantasy grounds on steam deck yeah Ooh. so robin says baldur's gate 3 is okay on steam deck i'm i want to get steam deck as a matter of fact i almost pulled the trigger on it when they had it on sale, but it was only like 20% off. And I, I think like when Christmas comes, they'll do like 30 or 40% off or what, I don't know how, how big they'll go. 
Has anybody bought Steam Deck on a Christmas sale? Does anybody know about that? I mean, if you're if you're running Fantasy Grounds on Steam Deck and you're only using you know part of it for what you need, I think it's cool. But there's so much that Fantasy Grounds handles that the limited. I guess. Yeah, I, I would think you that you can hook it to a bigger. Monitor, I would think that it's going to say. Yeah, that would work. I would think that it's going to say it's no on Steam Deck. Let's see what it says here. Um, doesn't say steam it doesn't say steam deck here oh wait no no website oh, says oh. It, he, he playable get it to run play it says it's playable on steam deck yeah, learn more he says it runs this game get it to run this game's launcher setup tool may require a touch screen or virtual keyboard or have difficult to read text this game sometimes shows mouse keyboard or non-steam deck controller icons entering some text requires manually invoking the on-screen keyboard but you can do it it says it is playable interesting you get a you think you lose a little bit of functionality but not much buttons might be awkward to push Baldur's gate 3 is 60 fucking i paid 60 dollars for this game let me see what this says about steam deck down yeah, verified. It says you can play the whole fucking thing on there. Robin's doing that right now, you guys. She's in. She's in bed. She's not feeling well. I don't. I don't even quite know what a Steam Deck is. So. <laughs> oh, okay. So I don't think I've ever had one in my hands. Steam Deck is um, awesome. And I'm here to Expensive as again. fuck. It would seem to me here, just right here. It would seem to me, it's basically portable Steam, right? And it would seem to me that if you're gonna buy one, you gotta go all out you got to go like 640 you know you got to get the one i mean you could get away with the lower one but i mean if you're if you're a steam junkie if you're buying a steam deck you're you're a steam junkie why wouldn't you get i mean you got to save up yeah i don't i don't see me ever using that thing so i've wanted to have it uh in bed you know i i I think it would be better for me as a person to uh play steam deck in bed than to doom scroll on instagram and see a bunch of trump stuff that i hate i I don't need another reason to sit somewhere else away from my computer (laughs) games though i mean i'm in computers all day long yeah that's true i i I need to i need to get in the bed i don't want another computer in my face but you know you're on the airplane or you know whatever i i mean just just to have it would be the airplane yeah Uh if you can all the traveling you do Uh well i know where why you really want hey listen listen I'm going to be it's going. So you I'm can gonna... use it on the shitter. You know that's why you want it. <laughs> oh, that's another. Yeah, because I'm. What am I? What am I using when I'm in there anyway? My phone, my iPhone. Yeah, you can. Uh, Alders Gate. Grimson like, says I played 400 hours on the deck at work. That's amazing. What do you do? Are you like yeah. a night security guard, or how can you get away with that? That's funny. That's <laughs> I funny. have a I have a computer at work with double monitors. If I want to play a game, there it is. Now wait a minute. These people are are skateboarding and playing the games and then they're going to jump in the lake? What, well, hold on a second. Just wait a minute. Let me see. Why, why are they yeah. jumping in the lake? Why would you have that at the lake? That If it fell in the water, that's 649. Kabloop. I like it that, you know, why do people go to the lake? They go to get outdoors, to water ski, swim, do outdoor stuff. They bring in their video games. Hi, Kitty. Oh, man, Kitty. I'm, I got a secret for you, Kitty. In one minute and 30 seconds, you're going to get food. At eight o'clock, you know, I think I would off. get the, uh, the. I think I would get Zelda before I would buy that. You Even mean, if they were the, exactly the same price, I would. I would get. Uh, what's the Zelda on the, uh, the Switch? Oh, the the Switch, the Nintendo Switch. How much does that cost? Those are only three hundred bucks. Plus, well, plus the game would probably be another sixty, seventy. I'm not sure. Here you go, three fifty nine. You can get the Switch and Legend of Zelda. I'm in. Yeah, see, see Let's that's. But that's just one to game, play Zelda. Dude. <laughs> but Switch, to play Zelda. Switch. You know, I'm not, I'm not a Nintendo guy. I mean, I, I have owned a Nintendo, but the last Nintendo I owned was like the Nintendo, like the first one. <laughs> dun, 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 right, like Duck Hunt. That's what I had. <laughs> but I haven't dun, had. Yeah, you know, I've never had a Wii or any of this other shit. Um. 
Biggest issue there, I would say, would be the screen real estate. The Steam Deck has just too bloody small for me to play. Wow, really? Let's look at uh, Steam yeah, Deck. Uh, but you could hook the Steam Deck to a Switch bigger monitor, right? You could dock size. it or something, whatever they say. Kitty, your food is going to be here in fucking 10 seconds. Stop pawing me. I can't pick yeah, her up because when the food thing goes off, they they'll they use all their claws and every power they have to run and they fucking scratch me. Here, go eat. There it is. There they go. <laughs> fucking tear it down the hallway. All right. Um 7 inch LCD screen. Nintendo Switch has 6.2 inch screen. Oh, what? So Grimson. Oh, you're just saying any any handheld thing, just the screen isn't big enough. Yeah, I get that. I totally get that. For Fantasy Grounds? Wow, my 34 inch curve monitor is barely big enough. Right. So I have a 34 inch curve monitor as myself, and, and I have never been one in all my years so far. I have not brought Fantasy Grounds outside just the one monitor. Because I use, you know, the, my top monitor I use for cameras. And my monitor to my left, I use for um, like chatty and whatnot. So yeah. Yeah, I always had Fantasy Grounds only on one monitor, and I had that uh, at least a second monitor when I even when I first started. Like I'll show you guys my. Oh, I don't need to take a screenshot of that. I can just change the. I can just go here to monitor two, right? You guys see monitor two? No, wait. How come it's not? You guys see the driveway? What's going on? Uh -huh. Monitor three. Oh yeah, here we go. Yeah, well, that is monitor. So, so this is my the monitor to my left looks like this. It has the uh, the chatty and then the the uh, Twitch pop out pop out in case I want to clip anything or run a commercial. And then my DMs Guild account. And then my this is my uh, my notes for the show. Don't forget to do the commercial. Don't forget to do the promos. Don't forget. I always I always forget. Uh, yeah, but anyway, they're that. the same notes every time. That's what's funny. You never change them. It's, I know you don't add to it or change. It's the same notes. <laughs> uh, okay, let's go back to uh, so this is monitor one, which is why. So I'm looking at OBS. So you see the infinite loop there. But if I go to any, Kendall has a bigger deck. screen than my Steam Deck. What did he say? <laughs> my Kendall has a bigger screen. Yeah, than my Steam deck. yeah. And well, and, and there's iPad, but then you know you can't run Steam games on your iPad or your Kindle. That's that's the thing. You know, I I did Legend of Zelda, so this would have been. This would have been the original Legend of Zelda in, in like you know the late nineties, whatever that game was. O Ocarina of Time. It was Ocarina. Yeah, of Time. that's the one. I, that's the last one I played too. Yeah, that's the last one I played, right? So this was when. Yeah. This was in ninety eight, maybe or ninety some kind and of. You had a little game. flute, and you. Uh, yeah. Uh, I forget. Yeah, here it is, November of ninety eight. Oh man, look at me, ten of ten. You know, it was a really great game. I'm telling you, it was a it, yeah. It was on the Nintendo oh, it 60. Was... Oh, so I yep. did have I had Nintendo and I had Nintendo 64. So uh, I might still I, have my Nintendo 64 and Zelda. I might. I think, if I'm not mistaken, it. Ray Klein, my comedy partner at the time, he brought that over. He brought, and it would have been forty bucks or fifty bucks or some high amount back in you know 25 years ago. And I was blown away. He brought it over, I think, for my, for Christmas maybe, or, or my birthday or something. The game? Oh yeah, yeah. It was. He brought the game, yeah. and he goes, he goes, here, let's play this. And I go, it was like forty nine ninety nine or something. Yeah, I had no idea. I had no idea what it was. Like I'd never heard of it, and we started playing it, and I was like, holy shit! And I think I beat the whole game. So did you ever? Uh, did you ever beat the chicken until they flocked and kicked your ass? Yeah, yeah, the chicken. I remember the chicken. <laughs> So, series, Legend of Zelda. So now let's take a look at what's the newest one. The newest one is what? King the, uh, Tears of the Kingdom, is that it? I think yeah. so, yeah. Okay, latest read, Tears Tears of the Kingdom. So then Let's watch a trailer on it. Okay, is there a trailer? Okay, let's go in let's, let's find out. Probably somewhere. Tears of the Kingdom trailer. Not just Fantasy Grounds on this show, you guys. Official trailer, kinda... official launch trailer. Let's watch. It's only a minute. Let's watch this. All right, here we go. Oh, okay. We're not coming over here. Okay, that might be a little oh. loud for my taste. Holy shit. Turn the streets. Christ. Oh, my God. 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 O
Well, you start out flying. I like that. Is it still Link? Is that Link? I think so. <laughs> Looks pretty involved. You got holy shit! What was that fucking like laser guided? <laughs> what the hell was that? Okay. You know, it, it, I'm watching this trailer, and the only thing I can think when I see the way the graphics go and everything is that I'm not a 30 year old man anymore. I can't my right. my ref, you know my reflex. I don't know if I could handle it uh, when I was you know younger, 25. That's years what I'm ago. thinking because I remember you had to use like all a pen of your fingers, your yeah. toes, <laughs> and part remember, of your knees to play some the people, game. Cause some so people are fun. listening to this going, "Dude, I wasn't even fucking born when that game came out." <laughs> I mean, that was 25 years there's ago. Nobody, there's nobody, nobody on this show right now, but let's see. What do I have yeah. over here? Mm -mm. Lord Gwydion. Oh, you guys, Gwydion did a video on uh, Paracle Gathering Darkness playthrough. Minor spoilers. So this was a Kickstarter. I have it. It's a single-player game, uh, and he did a playthrough. So uh, I, don't, I don't think I want to watch that because I'm going to thumbs up did, it, though. Because Did uh, you see the, the new... Uh sound virtual oh, sound he, that he's yeah at i did i saw he did a uh he did a vv matrix VD matrix yeah. yeah i you know gwitty is such an audiophile i saw that he did this and i watched it for like a such minute an and audio like, I'm out. File. he's it's an audiophile big time you know he's he is i know i'm gonna give him a thumbs up on that too thumbs up Gwydion, that's everybody. what i said I, I want them to i want them to uh good stuff <laughs> audio nerd on it Audio nerd on it for a little while before, because my potato is working just fine. My potato works just fine right now. Oh, by the way, I did go and I looked up information on how to play music to the stream without recording it, and it's all fucking voice meter banana crap. And I'm like, ah, oh, fuck, I'm out. I'm not even. I don't even want to learn it. Can't do it. <laughs> Can't do it. Can't do it. Everybody. Can't you do have it. Such issues with with your audio, anyways. I totally. Your order has arrived. What? My medication is here? Where? In the mailbox on a Sunday? Get the fuck out of here. No, Amazon can't deliver to your mailbox. Yeah, they always deliver to mailbox. Dungeon Master's oh. Guild. No action required. Your ADD bill. Oh, my ADT bill. Okay, let's, let's, let's read my personal email. Here's my board game arena games that I need to get caught up on. I, I have like a... We gotta have a key to put mail in our mailbox. So... Yeah. Only the mailman has that. These are all the games I'm playing on Board Game Arena right now. These are uh, like, like 40 games. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I don't fuck around, you guys. Here we go. Oh, wait. Can I get... Oh, I've been, I've been doing my uh, daily treasure chest. Can I get the Monday one already? Boom! <laughs> yeah, because they're, they're you know, UTC zero or something. I don't know where they are. All right. Let's see. So I'm playing this game called... Uh, Fort. I'm playing this game called Challengers. Let's see. Choose a deck card to move to the bottom. I always pick the higher... I always pick the higher number one. I don't know why that's my strategy. Confirm. All right, let's watch. It's automatic. I got to beat a three, six. He's got to beat a three, four. I got to beat a two, five. Waiting for your opponent. Put two cards from your bench onto your exhaust pile. Yeah, so I got to wait. So I got to go to the next table. Go to the next table. Board Game Arena, everybody. Board Game Arena. I, it's, it's, it takes a, Magic the Gathering Arena and Board Game Arena take up all my time. Uh, do I want two points or do I want two gold and a, and a bump? Ooh, 28. What's the next thing I can buy? 30. So, yeah, I want the gold. And then I'm going to buy this 30, 10 point deal right here like that. Now, 29, 9, 27, and I've got 18. I, I'm losing. I'm losing. I'm losing this game. Um, I think I'll take this right here. And move to the next table. 35 tables await your... <laughs> Should we do all 35 on the show tonight right now? Okay, this is... Uh, uh, you might get to like 30 and I'm going to be asleep. <laughs> I'm going to go to here. Yeah, no, we're not going to do it. Um, um, hey, let's let's refresh. 294.89. Let's see if anybody... Did, it, did you guys watch the show? Did you guys buy any stuff? 
Uh, I have a Nintendo Cube and the Wii and the PS3 Gathering Dust in the basement. Yeah. So I have a PS4 and an Xbox One Gathering Dust. I also have the Atari VCS, which I was super excited about. And uh, that thing's a paperweight. Um, I kickstarted the Atari V. You know, because I'm an Atari man. I was born in 1966. When Atari came out, I was 11 years old. My my very middle class family splurged on Christmas and got it for me. It was 99 bucks, and I was fucking beside myself. And I've told this story before. It was my friend Kevin. We were playing like Tank Battle, or you know, one of those Atari 2600 games. And I turned to him and I looked at him and I go, "He was a year younger than me." I go, "It's never gonna get better than this." And he goes, "I agree." <laughs> We were so excited. Uh oh oh two dollars. Somebody bought something. Might might be something, uh somebody watching this. O O T is a goat. Ocarina of Time is a goat. Yes, I agree, Grimson. Um It It a Soul's Light. It a Soul's Light? I don't know. All right, Drake, are we done? Is it is it over? <laughs> I'm done. You're done. We did. We did. It's been two hours and ten minutes. We did it quite a long trailer. Yeah, yeah. We covered a lot. We did a lot. Um, we uh, somebody bought all my shit. It was amazing. And uh, thank you again to that. And by the way, guys, everybody that's watching, even if you didn't buy anything, thank you so much for participating, coming to the show. Glad to see yeah, you. There's I, a lot. And I, you guys probably won't hear from me for a couple of weeks because I'll be in St. Augustine next weekend. So. Oh yeah, he's gonna go to other Florida, other parts Florida. You guys, he's gonna go to. Um, we're all sorry about that. Uh, but I do appreciate everybody watching and, and hanging out and uh, participating and coming to the show. And, uh, we, we try to make it about fantasy grounds a little bit. I'm going to close that now. <laughs> um, hashtag Rob's personal life and everything else. Um, safe trick, safe trip. Greg, uh, thanks Rob. Yeah. Thank you. Crit fest. Um, so yeah, everybody have a good night. Um, I'll be back next week, of course, perhaps by myself for the, that's never happened. Actually, I've never had to do the show alone, but I've always been prepared to, but, uh, it's actually never happened. I don't think, I don't think I've ever done it just by myself. So, uh, we'll see if, if that happens next week. All right. Um, I think that's it. I got a text message. Let me just check that. Let's make sure anybody, it's important to tell everybody what text message. Oh no, it was the Amazon thing. Okay. Who gives a shit? All right. Um, I guess we'll see everybody back here. Oh, one more thing. I hope everybody appreciates this. I was going to cancel Wednesday's game, which is Salasta. Which if we if I cancel it, the play, you know, it's only every other week. So if I cancel it, it means we don't play for a month cuz it's every second Wednesday, right? I was going to cancel it because I really wanted to go see um uh, 50th anniversary of Enter the Dragon, Bruce Lee in, in the theater, which is only playing at certain, it plays on like Wednesday and Sunday. So I'd either have to cancel this show or this or the Wednesday show. Um, maybe I do cancel next Sunday's show. I don't know. No, no, I think it was today. No, never mind. It's actually right now. It's actually an hour and 15 minutes in. It's too late. Uh, I wanted to see it real bad because I've seen that movie like, I don't know, 50 times, but I've never seen it in the theater. And it's the 50th anniversary of Bruce Lee. Ba -ba! So um, I just wanted to say that so that you can all acknowledge me how wonderful I am that I did not cancel the game. And instead, we're going to play the game and I'm not going to go see Bruce Lee unless in the next two days I change my mind. So we'll see uh, if I do change my mind about that. Good gaming, everyone.